If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Good morning. Now, I'm sorry if you're expecting Rebecca Reed. Uh, for the month of Ju June, she's not doing her Mondays. She, I told you yesterday, but in case you weren't watching, um, Yarn Lane has grown so enormously quicker, much quicker than we ever imagined. And Rebecca's in charge of Yarn Lane. So she's having her Mondays in June just to catch up on Yarn Lane. So I'm doing her Mondays uh, on Yarn Lane. But I won't be in tomorrow because, you know, I'm normally in tomorrow. Vix is in tomorrow. Vix is doing a few days. You know, you do your... Uh, get back to work, whatever it's called. So you do so many days before you come back full time and everything like that. So Vix will be in tomorrow. Vix in tomorrow. Wendy's on holiday. Wendy Gardner, that is. Not Wendy Orlando. Because you can see she's dancing over there. But anyway, Wendy Gardner's on holiday till about the 23rd of June now. Uh, so that's why I'm in today. So let's start with today's early bird. Now, you might have seen this yesterday, but it was so popular today. We thought we'd give you another go at it. So it is this beautiful... A3 light box. Now, the reason I've shown you it like this, first of all, is you see these um, foam corners here. I think when you get yours home, don't throw these away and don't throw this bag away because that's the best way to store it, you see? Because it, if it's like this, right, and you just leave it leaning up against the wall or something like that, someone's going to tread on it, it's going to break or something like that. This way, you can just slip it into the box, put the safety corners on, put the cut cable in there, and you know it's all safe till the next time you use it. Now, this you're wondering what this is. That's your plug, because this is obviously a USB wire. This is your plug in here for you to put that in. So if you can either put it into your sewing machine or into your um, 
computer or if you're posh like little Paul who's got the plugs like that on his house already, you can plug it into there. But if you haven't got those like me, then you just plug it into your three pin plug there. It's A3, I'll now show you to you for real because the deal today is it's A3 in size, right? A3 in size, but we also are giving you as part of this deal, you pay $49.99 for it anyway, but today's deal, you get two friction pens, you do get a blue one and a green one, and you get a fat quarter of white fabric so you can practice using your light box. Now, it's, as I say, it's A3, it's ultra slim, like Hannah. Hannah's back, everybody, by the way. Hannah's back, right. It's got four light settings, look, ready? That's off, one, two, three, four. Do you want to say that again? One, two, three, four. And it's $49.99. Now, Jackie from the Wirral, she messaged in saying she paid more elsewhere for an A4 version than we're offering an A3 version. That's first of all. Wendy Orlando's got this one. She says it's brilliant, right? Um, go and have a look. Go and have a look how much. You won't get this one, obviously, because this is an exclusive one. But go and have a look at how much an A3 Light LED uh, thin light boxes out there on the on the high street, right? First shop, uh, Argos, ninety nine ninety nine. Now you always get to Argos for these cheap deals, don't you? Ninety nine ninety nine. It's not the same make. It's not a direct comparison, but it does exactly the same job. It's ultra thin. It's LED, and it's an A three size. Now, that's twice the price. Twice the price. Uh, but not double the fun, Hannah says. Hannah's in one of those moods today, as is Elliot. We've got a very mixed, we've got a mixed kind of emotions in the gallery today. Well worth the money, says Jane. Well worth the money, says Jane. Well, it is, isn't it? It's half price of blimmin' Argos. Oh, Elliot, you're as stressed as anything today. Isn't he? Isn't he? Just a bit. Just a bit. Anyway, anyway, look. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. $49.99. Uh, another one here in Hobbycraft. How much is that one? Oh, 80 pounds, a bargain. Bargain at 80 pounds, that one. Make sure you check out now, make sure you check out. Now, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a, a confession to make, right? We're supposed to have another early bird today, but it's not arrived. As soon as it arrives, we're gonna play it, so you're gonna get two. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Today's early bird. Now, Elliot made that. Elliot made it and he forgot, you see. Oh, you've missed it, Wendy. I'll do it again in a minute. Um, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, keep coming through for that. Keep coming through. We will have another early bird as a surprise somewhere else later on in the show. Perfect. £49.99. pence. Let me just do a few messages while you're checking out on that. Anne says, good morning. Glenn says, good morning. Barbara McClay. Is at the Isle of Wight. Uh, uh, morning, Barbara. Cousin Susan says hello. Leslie says hello. Claire says hello. Dee says hello. Margaret says hello. Shelley says hello. Laurie says hello. Lovely red shirt. I was going to wear black and gold this morning, but I didn't feel in the mood, so I put my red one on. Good morning, says Judith. Shorts, Judith. What do you mean, shorts? Yep. Uh, Claire. Uh, <laughs> Good morning from Grimsby, says Veronica. Car that's cheered, that's cheered Elliot up no end, me show my knee like that. Oh! oh. I've had a fall, I've had a fall. Anyway, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, quickly. Jenny says, good morning from the Isle of Wight. Oh, she's in the Isle of Wight. Uh, Vida says, good morning. How was his birthday? How was David's birthday, Vida? Anyway, where's the graphics one? Are we, are we finished? We finished that without the them. Okay then, right, let me put that away. Are we ready to look at the menu then? Let's have a look at today's, I've got to tidy up and, here Wendy, can you put that on the trolley for me? Thank you. <laughs> Wendy will land everyone. Right, here you go, here is today, oh, I've got to clean, no I've got to clean the desk. Uh, here is today's menu, coming up. Right, so, in the first hour, it's very busy today, every, all five hours, I've got a guest, right? All five hours I've got a guest. So the first hour is Wendy Orlando, brand new book from Annie's Quilting. Um, and we're making this. Lovely, isn't it? We've got that in two different colourways. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Catherine Wright. She's making an open pocket bag. That's from uh, Beth Studley. There it is. We've got three or four different colourways in that. 
Uh, uh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's the, the, we've used some of that lovely New World um, tapestry fabric. Not much of that left. Okay, then we're moving to a Bargello apron tool roll. And it's also a... Um, what's the matter? What's the matter? It's on the trolley. It's on the trolley. Oh, she's getting all stressed now. On your hour, on that hour. There you go. That's, um, that's a Bargello, apparently, that one there. Uh, it's three different colourways from uh, panels that we have exclusive to Sewing Street. Oh, there you go. That one's called Delft Teapots, I think, something like that, isn't it? So that is 10 o'clock. Then 11 o'clock, we've got the Moda French General Quilt with Catherine Wright. Uh, two different, well, I say two different versions. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the same, we've got the same version, but it's got the choice of two fabrics. You either have the floral or the stripe. But I'll explain all of that during the hour. I'll explain that during the hour. Oh, there you go. That's the one with the stripe. Yeah, there's the, that. So the difference is that fabric or the floral fabric from the other one. That's the only difference. Then, of course, we run all the way down the road to the Yarn Lane studio. Coming up is Block of the Month with Wendy Orlando. Now, when they did the first, I wasn't here for the first one. When they did the first one, completely and utterly sold out. We've got more of the first month and we've got another, well, lots of, the, of this month as well, all coming up in that hour at Yarn Lane. So let me just tell you uh, how you can get in touch. There are three different ways to get in touch. One, you can send me an email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can send a message by Facebook Live, which the ones I've been reading out, and I'll just do a couple more of those. Oh, no, ignore that. Wrong thing. Wrong thing, Elliot. There you go. Um, Glennis says, oh, hold up. Good morning, John and everyone. Bright, beautiful morning, says Susan. Vida said, David had a lovely day. Sue says, good morning, John and team. Looking like a good day of guests and demos. Wendy says, good morning. Leslie said, you do make me laugh, John Scott. I wish I could do that with my lug, lug, leg. Well done, Elliot. Well done, Elliot. What's Elliot done? What, for making that thing with the birds on? He made the one with the, the, the product placement. Well, that one's on later, I'll show you. Uh, Kate says, good morning. Watching from... Doesn't say where. Paula says, good morning. Kate says, oh, watching from the camper van, known as the Hooey in sunny Shrewsbury. Reggie sunning himself as he watches the world go by. Reggie's the dog. Okay, and you can also go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Click on watch the show live. Then to the right-hand side there, you see a big square that says send the message to the studio. Hello. John, I love you from Elliot. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Can I just tell you something, right? You know, I've always said that Hannah hates having a hug, right? And I've only hu hugged Hannah once in her life and she went like this. Right, so I've never, ever, ever hugged her again this morning. She came this morning, we haven't seen each other for ages, right? And she just went like this. And I said, What's, what are you doing? What are you doing? She said, I feel the need for a hug. And we had a massive, massive, we had our masks on. We had our masks on. We were sanitised. I'm double jabbed. She had a COVID test yesterday, so she's fine. Enough to, we had a really, 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 really big hug like that. I oh, know, isn't that lovely? Anyway, anyway, should we go back to um, the website? Because if you scroll down the page, you'll see there your early bird and today's bestsellers. Uh, now, there, are two, there will be two columns. The left-hand side column is everything that we've shown so far. And the right-hand column is pre-order. That is everything that we've got for the next four hours. Now, you see this, right? So you see the mustard spring tulips. They are the colours that that one is, right? But then look at the website, right? You can't tell what colour the other one is because it just says it's posy. We are working on that. I promise you to be able to bring you that so you can because nobody's going to buy it, are they? You go to more details, you can see there the other fabrics there. But you have to go to more details to find it. Okay, so there are the bundles. The book's already selling. The book is already selling. Right, so carry on. There's all the things in Wendy Orlando's hour. She's not going to be doing any quilting. Then we go to Catherine Wright's first hour, where we're making the best studly bag. Uh, we've got the pattern on its own. And we have the bundles again. You need to click on the colourway. That's the colourway that you've already seen made. Oh, it's nice wallpaper. Then if you click, click on one of the other ones, there you go. You can look downstairs into more details. You can see the other, other fabrics there. Okay. So now back to the menu. Not menu, sorry. Not menu, sorry. Uh, Pre-order. So there's the belt. Wendy's wearing that. That's in three different colourways. There you go. In fact, that's the one Wendy's wearing. You'll see a, that's not her modelling it there. 
Well, your thighs aren't that thin. Anyway, and then carry on down. There's the quilt. Oh, now that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Look, so that is, you get all the same fabrics apart from the floral one, which is replaced by the stripy one in that one. Or you can go to the other one and you'll see you don't get the stripy fabric, you get the floral fabric. That's the only difference between the two. That's the only difference between these two, those two kilt, uh, kits. Then that's it. Then some backing there. Then we run down the, oh, Right, keep going, keep going. That's the 720. That's Hannah's favourite machine at the moment. <laughs> okay, I've got an announcement to make. You know, we started yesterday's show with like 20, 570 A's. We've got one left. There's one left. If you want the 570 A, there's one left. Obviously, we're going to ask Elna to send us some more, but who knows when we'll get them. It is waiting for you. It's got your name on in the Stockport warehouse right now. If you come in and buy it today, tomorrow they will start sending it out to you. It comes from Elna. It comes from Elna. Anyway, I'll stop talking about that. Also, okay, the, the, other, the other early bird will start, at, we'll, we'll be able to show you at the beginning of 9am. So maybe Elliot will get his um, graphics right in the 9am show. Well, yeah, we'll do a later early bird today. We'll do a later early bird today. Now, also, Yarn Lane is when you'll land out. Now, is it there yet or not? Right, we're going to go to Yarn Lane website because it's all on pre-order. Because last time Wendy was on with this, I wasn't on with her. Wendy was on with this. Sold out completely. So go to the Yarn Lane website. Exactly the same. Click on um, pre-order. Right. There we go. Now, we do have this month's and last month's available there. One, 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 one. And look, we've got those lovely building blocks you put in a kiddie's playroom to do your blocking. And the Yarn Lane loves... Oh, they had those in before. Oh, oh, I didn't know I was getting a Yarn Lane loves. Oh, I've got a Yarn Lane loves as well. And I opened the box this morning and said, I love, love these. I love these. Didn't know I, was, I didn't know it was a Yarn Lane loves. I love them. There you go. So this, is the, this is this month's block. You can do it in knitting or in crochet. That's this month. And then we've also got, la is that last month? No. Oh, that's, oh, they're completely different. Oh, okay. So the crochet blanket's completely different to the knitting blanket. The colours are the same. The colours are the same. So you could do both if you wanted to, couldn't you? Anyway, there's the, there was the crochet one. There's the knitted one. Oh, okay. I'm completely confused. But remember, if you buy something from me today on Sewing Street, your P&P's covered on Yarn Lane and vice versa. So if you've already gone in and bought that block of the month and paid your P&P on it, anything you buy from me on Sewing Street this morning uh, will be concluded in that P&P. Oh, blimey, should we start? Because we've got loads to do. This book is already selling. And Annie's quilting books always, always, always fly out the door. Brand new today to us. Nine colourful designs. Now look, it's not even a pound a pattern. It's not even a pound a pattern. Isn't it brilliant? So, magnolia. These are all about flowers, right? So here we go. That's magnolia. You see, I didn't... That's, no, that's not... Is that magnolia? Yeah, that's magnolia. Mine don't look like that. Anyway, that's magnolia. Then we've got sunflowers. You've got what? What's Elliot wittering on about today? He loves flowers. Framed flowers. Pretty, isn't it? That oh, Dutch Golden Age. Oh, we have to make that one one day, don't we? That's beautiful. Oh, no. It looks like the book's going to sell out on its first outing. That one's called S Summertime Serenade. Bees on it. Oh, now, on Wednesday, I've got Rebecca Reed as a guest doing something to do with bumblebees from Amber Makes. Then I've got, there you go. This is one we're doing, Spring Tulips. Righty ho. Then I've got Posy in a Pot. Cute. And then we've got In Bloom, which is. It is. Oh, I've just licked my finger. I'll sanitise. Don't worry. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I'm not too keen on a table runner myself, as you know. Uh, then Matilda's Flower Room. My friend Dulcie's working on the film Matilda at the moment. The film of the musical, the West End musical, yeah. No, no, well, it's the same story, isn't it? It's just with the musical that Tim Minchin made the music for. Anyway, there they all are. 8 99 How many have I got left, Hannah? 
Quarter of the stock's gone. Quarter of the stock has gone already. We've been on it minutes, haven't we? Been on it. Oh, hang on, I need to do this. So that's the one we've made today coming from that very book. We'll just do a few more of these so we keep up. Oh, God, nice message across my bottom. Saying, good morning, John. Can't wait till Wendy's on. She's great and so are you. Looking forward to the shows. Enid, Wendy Gardner's on holiday till the end. <laughs> anyway, let me read some of these. I'm not giving her any, I'm not giving her any compliments today. Loads yeah. of people have got their blocks of months already. Yeah, you've already gone. Right, um, right. Suzanne says, good morning. Looks like a busy morning. Princess says, you give the best hugs, John. Carol says, great menu. <clears throat> when will Yarn Baby live? It's live now. Go and buy Yarn Lane now. It, it, Wendy won't be on live until 12 o'clock, but go to Yarn Lane website now and buy it now. Laurie said, that's really sweet of you and Hannah to have a hug. Brought a tear to my eye because I know you really love each other. We do, actually. We have the strangest relationship because she thinks I'm a dad. She, goes, she says, dad, dad, don't do that, dad. Uh, but anyway... It was lovely. It was really lovely. Uh, uh, and then Derek says, uh, good morning, Elliot. Just say, just say, good morning, Elliot. I said, go on to anyone else. Bernadette says, good morning, John, Hannah, Elliot, Wendy and Catherine. Hugs to all. Paul was on Gem Collector again last night. He did his muscle dance Adonis. Little Paul. He's just on air all the time at the moment, isn't he? Bear Grill says, morning. Just to let you know, Featherstone Rovers won their game yesterday and they're off to Wembley. Oh, a friend of Elliot's filmed it. Now there's a message from Derek saying, good morning, Hannah, Emma and John. This is a Monday morning surprise. Nice shirt. This shirt is so old. It's a Christmas shirt, really. But I thought I'd wear this to go with the French General, you see. Right, OK, let's do the two. <laughs> not, um, not a real French General, it's a quilt. If you missed out on the first early bird, remember, oh, the first one sold out. The light box is sold out. Uh, we will get more in, don't worry. The light box is sold out. And we'll have another early bird at nine o'clock for you. And it's a goodie. It's, I was so excited about it. It's a goodie. We'll do it at nine o'clock. Right, OK, look, 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 look. This is, this is the one on the wall. Not this wall, that wall. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's the bundle to make that one, right? So you get two metres of your white, which is for your background. You get one and a half metres of your yellow splodge, which is for your border. Then... For your other ones, you get a metre of your spot. That's 55 inches wide. That's wider. It's beautiful cotton, that one. Wendy can't get over how beautiful that one is. Then you get a metre of your blue splodge. Then you get half a metre of your sky blue splodge. And you get half a metre of your florals. That's mo... Oh, is that cider? I don't remember that one. Isn't that funny? I launched that. Anyway, 62.99. you get six and a half metres of fabric. You will have fabric left over at the end. That's enough to make the front and the binding. You'll need the book and you'll need your own wadding and your own backing. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't need the book. The book comes in the bundle. That's weird because it didn't come in the bag. Didn't come in the bag, normally comes back. You will get the book with it. That's even better. No, I'm just showing the book first of all, and then you get all of that. You get all of that. All right, Elliot. It'll be all right in a minute. Somebody get him a coffee, will they? 62.99. Oh, Wendy's running off to Greg's for you, look. 62.99. I don't think she really is, Hannah. She's got to be here in 10 seconds. Then the other colourway, which is the one you're going to see Wendy demonstrate with, you get the book in the bundle. That's even better. It says book and fabric in the graphics, yeah. So in this one, you get white as your background, two metres. You get that lovely kind of kingfishery peacock uh, as your border. Then you get this lovely floral, beautiful that one, isn't it? These are going to look lovely together, aren't they? So you get a metre of that. You get a metre of your butterflies. Then you get half a metre of your little girl's dress. I'm only saying that because Mark made a little girl's dress after that at the weekend, didn't he? And then I love this fabric, my West Side Story fabric. It isn't West Side Story, I just call it West Side Story fabric. Half a metre of that. That is what you're going to see Wendy doing a demonstration on. £75.99. and pence. You will have fabric left over. You do get the book in there as well. That most popular bundle, that one is. Most popular bundle. Right, I'm not going to show you anything else because Wendy's 
The book is flying out. The bundles are flying out with the book. So please, I'll keep you updated. I'll keep interrupting her. Don't worry. But she's gagging to get on. You know what she's like. What they call the like little Paul. She loves being on the telly. Right. Good morning, Wendy Orlando. Not talking to you this morning. Okay, that's fine. That's You've good. Been be nice very and quiet. Rude about my thighs, but yeah, it wasn't me. It wasn't. I told it you wasn't it wasn't me. you. It wasn't you. It, it wasn't. Me. It was your husband. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was my daughter. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh. Yes. So um, I couldn't take it and. Get you get all those selfie sticks. Oh no 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 no! I'm not any good. No. But it's lovely to see you because I thought it was thought it was going to be Rebecca this morning. Yes, so. you did. Well, it's because they, they moved you off my show last time, didn't they? No, they moved me onto a different day, didn't they? No, you asked to go onto a different no, day. No, if yes, I'd asked, did. I wouldn't be here today. Oh, all right then. Okay, right, come on love then. Love it, absolutely love this book. The book, it is, I, I didn't realise, I was reading it last night. Um, it's all by different designers, which is yeah. great, which is fantastic. Um, so we're going to be making, what was it, the tulip one today? Was it the, the spring tulips today? Yes. Um, they do state that they are confident beginners okay so if would you agree with that one on this one or would you say there's nothing technically hard about it it's just quite time consuming this one because you've got lots of pieces if you can see this is the one that we're going to be making today yeah uh, there's quite a lot of pieces to yeah. it um but i like that i like to have a challenge i like the something. thing is you've got to remember we give you challenges and go have this made by monday People who are buying it for home are going to go. Oh, I'm going to love doing this. I'm going to, and and they love the I fact loved that it's it. a time challenge. I loved a, it. You know, time consuming because you can do a block at a time. You can spend your time doing it. You just you just have to have it done for the deadline, don't you? So it's not like you can sit back and go. Oh, I'm going to really enjoy. It. I mean, you can enjoy I did. it, I but really you can't sit and one. relish it because you know you've got the deadline for Monday. But it is very very simple because it is. Two blocks, there's two different blocks. So this is one of the colourways, the one uh -huh. of the blocks, and that's just the tulip in its on its own. Yeah. And then you've got the second one, which is the basket of tulips. And it, it's very clever because you, you make it like this, and then when you actually put it in... Yeah, the, yeah of course, on the, point, the, that's called. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. See, I learned, so that's, my, that's what I've learned today yeah. from you. You think on point's about when you used to do ballet, didn't you? She used to be in the Royal Festival Ballet, did you know, as a Corrine, as one of the swans. Many, many moons ago, when life was black and white. Carry on. I've never danced in my life. I didn't like to say you can tell. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you're on form today, aren't you? Oh, I'm tired. But that's what I like about this. And this, I have made this behind me. Uh huh. And I have still got all this material. Okay, so now which one? Which over. one? Have you got half a meter of one of those? Because you need your binding out of that. What would your binding be out of? Would it be out of the spot or would it be a scrappy binding, do you think? Because the spots, as you say, I picked it up and I thought, whoa, yeah, there's just right so down. much of this, mm. which is really, it's and it, I, I've not worked with this one before. It's a really lovely weight. Mm -hmm. um, so that would make, that'd be great for backs of cushion covers and things like that. I would probably make the binding out of that one because I think it's just going to make it yes. pop. Oh no, completely. But you know, I love yeah. a scrappy binding. Mm -hmm. So I would just cut. But there's enough of that, I think, to left over to make a binding, isn't there? Absolutely. It? This is what's left. I mean, look. Oh, perfect. Half look. a meter. You've got half a meter left. Huge, isn't so it? that's for your binding. That's yes. why they put that in then, definitely. It's beautiful. But yeah. there's nothing to stop you, as I say, making scrappy binding. Because no, no. then it pulls the whole quilting yeah. together. So you get lots of material. And. Oh, and, and you made that and as well. I made a cushion. So I didn't put the right size cushion in there. But. Um, I wonder what you were doing rummaging my dressing room earlier. Sorry. Sorry. The, I cushion, the cushion pads are kept in my dressing room now. Were they? <laughs> What? <laughs> I was only teasing you. I didn't go in there for that. I went in there to have a look at all your makeup and all. Oh, so you, uh, <laughs> and the trowels to put it on. I did. I noticed yeah. that. I, yeah, I hit my knee yeah. on it. Um, uh, so that's just one of the, the the blocks, and you could you could make any block you like into a cushion. Yeah. And then all I did with this one, this block here, I just copied the width of that and just made a border for it. But you could make it as big as mm. you want, or you could put four. So together. hang on, you've made that out of. So there's, uh, there's so that, so that yes. as well, and there's a back and actual cushion as well. The so there's a lot of fabric. There is so you a could, lot if, of oh fabric. no, you wouldn't want to do the binding in the yellow splodge because you've got your border in that. You wouldn't want the you binding could, in the same. You could, but then it would just like merge yeah. into the background, yeah. and I like it to pop because, um, like the the quilt that you've got behind you, it's in a contrast colour, and it just makes that that 
uh, the binding just lock yeah, yeah, pop yeah, out yeah. at you. Yeah, but perfect. yeah, you were going to have so much material. Okay, perfect. And the, the, the pack that I'm using today, which is the most popular, was the yeah, most popular. Yeah, so far. There's, there's so much material in there that you, if you've got like a plain cotton colour, then you can just make lots of things with it. So this okay. is what we're going to do. Lynn says, good morning, John. And the best stitcher, Wendy Orlando. She is the best great demo. I'll pay you later. All the <laughs> best, Wendy, from Lynn. Oh. Oh, that's so lovely. And Julie Thank says, you. morning, John and Wendy. Morning, lovely, sunny Wakefield. Oh. You should wear red more, John. It really suits you. Oh, thank you. Hey, I wasn't says, looking morning. at the shirt, I can tell you, this morning. You are? I wasn't oh, looking, looking at... looking at my legs. I had shorts on. No, what do you mean you had shorts yeah. on? You still got them on. Morning, John and everyone. Two of my favourite guests today, Wendy and Catherine. Last day of my annual leave. What a lovely way to spend it. There you go. Right. Yeah, I was so excited to meet Catherine. Oh, sorry, I wasn't Have you not excited. met each other? No, we never met each other. Oh. Because we're like passing yeah. ships in the night, aren't we? Um... So you, you do have two, as I say, we've got two that we're going to, um, you've got on the quilt, but I'm only going to be showing you how to make this one today. Right, yeah. Because every element that is in here. We'll have a look at that one, shall we, Elliot, please? There you go. Every Elliot, every, every Elliot, Elliot. Every Elliot. <laughs> oh, that looks like a little Elliot, doesn't it? It does. Well, every, no, that one goes in at the waist. Oh, oh, you are, you are today, aren't you? Every element that's in there is actually in this one as well. Yeah. So I'd rather show you the more complicated yeah, yeah, of the two. And the book is brilliant because it you just have to just get yourself a piece of paper and label them, or you can write on the fabrics, just label them. Yeah. Because it does get a little bit confusing because it's A, B, C, D, E, there's, there's loads of elements to it. So just label them all. And if you can, I mean, I'm lucky enough to have them, I can lay them out in my room and close the door, but just put them in little bags or something. Um, and then it will tell you exactly what you need to do for each of them. But I'm gonna break them down for you to show you how to do them. Okay. So this is the block that we're going to be making. There, you go. there we go. And if I bring the book in, you can see that it's made up of lots of little elements. Right. So you just work through them one at a time and then you put them together. So we'll make this one, this one, this one and this one and then we'll put the edges on. Okay. So it, it, it looks complicated, but it really isn't. Now the first thing you need to do is cut all your pieces out, which I have done here. And it tells you what's cut out. For it tells yeah. you every single one but as I say just take it read it through a couple of times because um, I just went straight in as I do yeah and I just got a bit confused because as I say I think there's A to O or A to N so there's a lot of pieces in here so the first thing that we're going to do is make this section here hang on there you go that one there so um, I can see that I just um, need to get the two small squares and the rectangle there and I say I have cut them all out already what you do need to do is um, have your quarter of an inch foot or work to a quarter of an inch seam yeah. don't change your mind halfway through because it really does need to be accurate. and don't do it on a different machine don't do <coughs> it. but as I say I've got this machine at home so yeah. I'm I'm okay and then all I'm doing is copying I'm just making that so that's what I'm going to be making. Okay. And we're going to put these two right sides together. And I'm just going to sew down here with a quarter of an inch seam. Now, I personally wouldn't pin something this small. No. But you wouldn't. No. Do we agree We agree on something. Yeah. That's, that's a first, yeah, isn't that's it? A first. <laughs> that's a first. Um, and I'm setting it to um, <coughs> a quarter inch and this tells me that it's going to be cutting at a seam length <coughs> of two, which is perfect for me. Nice short seam length. There we go. Now, the key to this is press every single step of the way. Every step of the way. And all I'm doing yeah. is pressing it over to the dark side. Now, they're both very light fabrics. But I've got a darker and a lighter fabric. So all I'm done is press the excess seam behind the darker fabric. Just need to make sure that I'm going to... The, the, a top tip actually is to make one and then have that in front of you yeah. so you can copy it. Once you've made one out of the book... I'm going to ask, are, once you've made that one, are they all the same formation of fabrics or do you move the fabrics around? I personally didn't. So they uh, are. Did I? No, I. No, I didn't. 
So when you do this block, you all because I was going to say but it's all very well making to. one, then copying it. But if you've then got to swap the yes. fabrics around, it's going to confuse you, isn't it? I'm just looking. I think they. Oh no, they've done the same. Yeah. I th I didn't think they had, but because they've used um, more fabrics. They, yeah, yes, it it looks a little bit different. Yeah. Um, but I just but that's up to you. You can change them around. If I quite you like want the to. fact those four corners would be the same. I do. Because that gives it some stability because then it goes a bit crazy you in the middle. You could do the centre one different if oh, you yes, wanted yes, to. Oh yes, 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 yeah. Um if you wanted to. Yeah, I'd always be tempted to do the centre one in the complete opposite way of the top one. So I'd do a blue flowers and a gold vase. That would be lovely. Because it's the same pattern but different, but it's focus in the or, middle. Yes, because um, it doesn't really matter because you've got this, the gold, all yes, the way around yeah, yeah, here. So yeah. it's not going to matter where no. the gold is on there. Um, and all we do then is I'm going to place this one right sides together. Now with the plain fabric, it's really hard to see which is right and which is wrong. And it's not going to matter if you don't do it. It doesn't quite fit, but don't worry, I'm going to cut that down after. Okay. Jackie says, good morning, everyone. How's Dave, Jackie? Is he all right this morning? Carol says, I love Wendy's nail colour. What colour have you chosen I, this week? The same that I always do, and I haven't got a clue what it is. Oh. I can't, as you get older, well, you'll know this. As uh, you get I older. I don't wear nail varnish. But you're getting older. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> You can't see the print on the side of things because they do it the same colour as the bottle. And I'm oh, do they? Yeah. Well, you should know. No, not nail varnish. <laughs> no, not nail varnish. <laughs> so that's that's my first, and, and I'll show it. I'll have this one up against here yeah. if I can keep it in. So I'm just making okay that little bit there. Now, what I do suggest, and I it, I've read it, and I can't see it anywhere in there. Trim these down. Because if you don't, when you come to the end of it, it's not going to be the right size and you'll end up having to trim the whole one down. So if you trim these down as you go. How do you know how big you need to trim it down to? Right, I used, I used the, the, the thought process of this one here that I'm going to be joining it next to. Yeah, hang on, we'll just go yeah, for we're that. Just coming there you go. So Which this one? one here that you, you cut, you pre-cut, and it stays like that, yeah. is two and a half inches. Oh, so you've taken it that all the other squares are... These ones, when made, have to be. And then when you cut them out, I'll show you when we come yeah, to yeah. it. Um, I think these ones are four and a half. But yes, you always want to make sure that it's the same size as the one that's right. next to it. Okay. But um, I found the first one I made, I just made them and didn't cut them. Oh, and I got in an awful pickle. Right. Um, but it doesn't state that to cut them, but I would just advise you to... Um, uh, sorry, I didn't tell Hannah about these. I don't know if these are in stock. They're probably not. They I'm are, not. or they were yesterday. Right, because these... Oh, no, day before, day before, sorry. These are absolutely amazing. So for this one, um, you, don't, you don't need to worry. We're not doing a half square triangle, so I'm just making sure that they are the two and a half inches. And it's only minuscule. You can see it's a tiny, tiny bit out there. But th if, if you've got four or six or eight of these in the square, each time they're out, it's going to make the overall square mm -hmm. out. So that's my first one. Now, this one here is really easy because it's simply just a plain square. Uh -huh. So I don't need to do that one. Now, these two here are exactly the same and they're just half square triangles. Right. I have made them before, but I'm going to show you how to do those. So again, in the book, it's brilliant. It tells you exactly what piece you need to make what. Uh -huh. So you'll just get your two pieces. Right. And then I'm going to. Now in, uh, you carry on, you carry on. In yep. Catherine's hour, we've actually got a half square triangle ruler, which makes it even easier to do these. But it's the same, it's the same principle as this. Catherine kept that quiet, didn't she? I don't think she knows. Oh. Oh, it's a surprise. Oh, the Stripology Minis have all sold out. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. We had them two days ago. But they do work. You, if, yeah. if the large ones are in stock, yeah. I'm not sure. But the, the, the mini one it is very handy. So it's the squared one, isn't it? The mini squared. I've no idea. Oh, yes, it got. Mini squared, yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. I have had it quite a while from here. So. Yeah. Um, so all I've done is I've drawn a line on the wrong side from one corner to the other. Mm -hmm. Now, normally I would say you have to be um, really, really accurate, but we are going to cut these down. To, to size afterwards, but right. try and get that from corner to corner if you can. Yeah. And then all you're going to be doing is placing right sides together. So remember, we've drawn this on the wrong side, so that means this is the right side. It's much, much easier to see if you have um, a patterned on one side, but this is plain. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to sew 
a line of stitching a quarter of an inch away from that line. I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch that way. Perfect. Now this is the perfect opportunity to do chain piecing. Um, what I did, you are quite right, I did have to make it quite quickly. Uh -huh. So I had like a little production line going. So I had a long line of these and chain piecing reduces um, the cotton as well. So you're not using as much cotton. Thread, you mean? That's thread. the one, yeah. Although this is thread. And I've just sewn a line a quarter of an inch either side of the blue line. Yeah. And then I'm going to just, I, I, I'm a huge fan of using the rotary cutter. Um, you can, you can, it's not, I say hand, but it isn't. It's scissor. You cut, yes. I say hand, hand cut cutting, with scissors, yeah. but it's not, is it? It's cutting. Because you're hand cutting with the rotary cutter as well. Exactly. Yeah. I know. You did tell me off last I'm, time. I didn't. Um, I never tell you off. Oh. And then all we're going to do is we're going to set those stitches and press back onto the dark side. So the one that's on the quilt block that you've made, mm -hmm. is that the same pattern fabric? You just happen to have missed any flowers? That's the beauty of it. It is exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because, you, oh no, I've made it from that one. Yeah. The actual fabric itself, it does have big pockets mm -hmm. of no pattern. Yeah, so it, um, it looks like another fabric. Every yeah. single person yeah. makes it is going to get a different, mm. a different effect, which I love. I do like it when you make something the same as someone else, but it's unique because it's not the same colourway. Yeah, of course. And then all we do, so we've now got our two half square triangles. Mm -hmm. But trim as you down. can see, they are they are quite messy. Yeah. All I'm going to do is trim them to that two and a half. Okay. Now with this one, and you'll find it on a lot of the, the rulers that you have, you do have that 45 degree line to follow. Yeah. So I'm just going to line that 45 degree up with the centre and then it needs to be two and a half. So I'm going to make sure that I've got enough at the two and a half showing and at the zero. You mm -hmm. may find yours is perfect, but I've made so many of these and not one of them was exactly two and a half. Um, the other thing I will say, you need to cut, uh, the pattern uses seven eighths. Right. Instead of rounding it up and then cutting it down. Um, I think the logic is that with two and seven eighths, when you do a quarter of an inch seam allowance, you're going to get that two and a half. It never worked for me. But when you're cutting, all you need to do, I, I just want to make, let people know actually on this, especially if you've got these rulers, one of these rulers, you've actually got eight little, it's really hard to show. Will it show it on that? You've actually got eight little marks in between each mm -hmm. of the inches and each one of them represent um, one eighth. So if you want to cut two and seven eighths, which is what a lot of the squares are, then you would put your, let me just show you on a bit like this. So you would line up, and now I like to line up on the three and then move it back one. It's just how I do it because then um, I know that I'm going to get it exact mm -hmm. and I just need to move it in one eighth. And then when you cut it, that will be two, seven, eights. Um, yeah. I, I always make things like in threes and halves and quarters. So it kind of blew me at first. I thought, oh, how do I do that? But it's very easy, yeah. very, very easy. I'm just going to cut these down. And you're going to have to shout at me for time. Uh, you've got about 15 minutes, Brilliant. is that right? Brilliant. So this time I'm going to line it up. It's a bit hard to see because you are white on white. Um, Sammy, do you, say, do you mean machine? Sammy said, what Maxine is that that you're using from Sammy and Sunny Guernsey? I think she must mean the machine. Uh, the Juki. You shouldn't need to look at it. You've I got know. it. Oh, no, I've got it. I can't remember what it's called. Well, it? well, no, because I looked at it on, you were flicking through and I thought that can't be my machine because that's too cheap. No, oh, there is another Juki machine. <laughs> that's okay then. I was going to thought, I didn't yeah. pay that for it. But Donna thought, says good. So what is it? What is your machine? I, can't, I, I thought it was the one that, you're, it's the... No. It's written on the side of it. Is it? <laughs> it's the NX7, isn't that's it? That's the one. Oh, that's why, yeah, it's the NX7, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, right, okay. Donna <laughs> says, good morning, everyone. Uh, so I hope that's what you meant, Ma uh, Sammy. Yeah, I can absolutely highly recommend this machine. It's, it's used every single day, every single day. And um, the aftercare is amazing with Juki. Gary and the guys and ladies and guys up there are just amazing. I've phoned them quite a few times. Yeah, Gary did mention it last time <laughs> he was on. <laughs> I will say most of it was user error. 
Yeah, just, just for a chat. Gary, my needle needs changing. We'll change <gasps> it. No, no, no. I wouldn't. Do you know, I'm not going to tell you I haven't changed. I didn't say that, but I haven't changed my needle. That's bad, isn't it? That's bad. But I have cleaned it a few times. Good. I've cleaned it several times. So we've just cut the half square triangles and it, it comes together really, really quickly. So I will use the book then. So we've got that one. Uh -huh. And then you get like these, like the little, the little bows. Yeah. And already... So that, that's your top block. That is my top yeah. block. Now, I, all I've done is created them and then cut them to size. And now when we place them together, so I'm going to do the top two and then the bottom two. So I'm doing right sides together and I'm going to sew Oh, you, you join, did you join them now then? Yeah. Yes. You join them so that um, they're bigger blocks and then you join the bigger okay. blocks together yeah. to create even bigger blocks. Right, so that's the first one. And then we do exactly the same with the second one. And the brilliant thing at the moment is there are no seams to line up. Uh -huh. And it looks very, very complicated, but it isn't when you break it down. There we go. Now I'm getting, keeping my ends quite short. I'm cutting them off as I go because otherwise I'm going to get loads of ends at the back. Yeah. Now what I've done is I've made these two pieces here. So now I'm going to sew these two together but before I do that I want to press them now I like to nest my seams and that simply means that you you put the two uh, folded seams together and they butt together um, and it, it just looks much much neater I haven't done a skank quarter here it doesn't tell you to do that but all well, I, I don't know if you've been looking at my intersections this morning they all most of them most of them you know, don't say nothing and I, I know I could just see by your raised eyebrows then so all I'm going to do is I'm going to press. See, that was the joy of when I used to have Botox. People couldn't tell when I was raising my eyebrows. Oh, how could you? Didn't it hurt? I loved it. You had oh. 17 injections in your face. But didn't you kind of feel like swelling? No, you don't swell up. It or just you know? paralyzes the muscles. Ah, what's the one that you swell up with then? That'll be a filler. <laughs> you can tell I don't. Well, you can tell, but you can tell. <laughs> I didn't know like that. Don't say anything. So all I've done is press one seam back one way yeah. and the other seam the other. And then when you place them right sides together, they nest. So they nest and you'll feel some resistance and they're gonna get a really neat seam. So that's all I'm gonna do. Again, if you're, if you're new to it, um, doing this, I would definitely pin. Yeah. But I just wanna whisk through it. And then these, these are brilliant. I don't know if these are in stock because um, you do need to press at every single opportunity you can. If they are in stock, they'll be on the website. I keep missing the June Taylor. I keep missing it every time. Oh, no, time. every time it comes in, it's gone. I think, yeah, and then I, the trouble yeah. is I get sidetracked and by the time I come back, it's gone. So this one, we're going to do exactly the same. So as you can see, it's a little bit wonky. Yeah. But that's my life at the moment, a bit oh. wonky. <laughs> um, and when I lay it down, I am a little bit proud um, above the four and a half. So yeah, I've just worked this one out. So when you've joined the four two and a halves together, you then need to cut it down to four and a half. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely day out there today, isn't it? Oh, is it? I know. Oh. You know what, it chucked it, like? it down with rain all day here yesterday. And yes, I got home did. and everyone's saying, oh, you're enjoying the weather, though. isn't it lovely? And in fact, but by the time I got home to my village, it was beautiful sunshine. No rain at all all day, and yet it rained all day. It was humid, down but Down south, all day. it was a gorgeous day, yeah. absolutely gorgeous day. So I've now cut that one down. Okay. And then you start, I have already made good. some. <laughs> I heard you say that. No, 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 I meant good because you, you, you'll be rushed otherwise. Yep, so that's that one. And then I'm just going to show you, we're going to make this one here. Now that's simply a half square triangle, but my favorite half square triangle is because it's a big square. Yeah. It's a big square. We're going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to draw a line on the, on the wrong side of, it doesn't matter which one you draw on the wrong side mm -hmm. of. It's very warm in here, and the and it's on, isn't no, it? I've got the aircon on, yeah. full pelt, yeah. yeah it, it's yesterday, it was so humid. That it is, whole, isn't yeah. it? 
we have in a moment I will and then I'm just going to place right sides together and I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the small triangle half square triangles are exactly the same doesn't matter how big or small you make them but um, as I say I would chain piece and get a little production line going yeah oh unless because you were saying earlier some people like to get their teeth into a project and like to take their time over mm -hmm. it the sun's just come out in Silverstone Surely Wendy has made that block wrong. Oh, spot the mistake everyone's saying. I have, saying. I have. No, I have. I can see it. No, but that shows... You, yeah. didn't, you didn't spot my mistake, did I you? I was too polite. <gasps> no, never. Yes, you're right. That should be round. That's because I was... Um, that should be what? Which way round should it be? Now you see, you couldn't see. But that's, I haven't noticed can you, can you not see where the... Sorry, there is definitely a mistake there. Can you not see it? Yeah, but you can the now. top left hand that corner one there is the should wrong be twisted, yes. So the, the stamen of your flowers Oh, yes, it gone. has, yes. That one is wilting. That one's seen yeah. better days. Thank you very much for pointing that out. Yes, Suzanne, it's the top left one. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I should do that each time, shouldn't I? I should secretly do a little error and then see if anyone spots. They will. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. They are good. Yeah. They are very good. Well spotted, everyone. I would have seen it later and then I'd have thought, oh, dear. <laughs> They do say in crochet and knitting you should leave a mistake. Do they? I don't know why, but they yeah. do say... You <laughs> they do! But that's like in the uh, New York fur district, when I used to live in New York, the farriers used to leave a pin. You always leave Ooh. a pin in a fur coat. That's good luck as well. And I'd no. like, but what happens if your lady snags herself if she's putting it on or whatever? Or you gentlemen who are You might break yourself. I wouldn't, oh, I wouldn't have that. No. Well, you wouldn't oh. have a fur coat full stop, would you? So. Absolutely not. I didn't know that. That's oh, I'm always paranoid. That's why I don't like using pins. I like using clips because I don't want to leave. Well, you have to count them in and count them out when oh. you're doing posh dress. Do making. you? Because yeah. I I do that, so I must be posh then. Yeah. No, no, the dress. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the dress. If the dress is posh. <laughs> right. Okay. So that was right. just one big half. That triangle. was one of those, but huge. So yeah. that's that made. So already you can see how it's coming together. Yeah. Now this one here that I will try and do the right way is a little bit more tricky only because your half square triangles then have another little section to yeah. them. It's really easy, really easy. All you need to do is get, so I'm going to put that in place so that I don't get that one out of line. Yeah. Again, it's all in the instructions. So these, it shows you how to do them. And I will just bring this forward because I didn't show that. You actually cut them I thought there was a picture, but obviously I must have dreamt it. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, it's not a picture. That you cut them, some of them you cut on the diagonal, yeah. and then you cut some of them you cut on the diagonal, and then the diagonal yeah. again. And that's where your rotating cutting mats come into their, their own, mm -hmm. because you don't have to move the fabric. And then all we're going to do is we're going to place these how we need them. Just Jack Glennis, we will get them back in stock. We always replenish all of our uh, creative grids. We will get the ruler back in stock. So that is what I'm after. So I'm creating these two blocks here. Right. So I'm just checking that these are the right way. Right. And then place them right sides together. Now, when you sew these ones, it's advisable to start sewing from the straight, the, the right angle. So I'm just going to turn it over to be able to do that because you don't want to be starting from the point because if you're anything like my old machine it used to eat points it used to love them yeah but it, it, no matter how good your machine is sometimes if you start from the corner Ooh, it's going to swallow is, it yeah. this is pretty good but my old machine just used to gobble them up yeah do you know i'm so pleased that people are actually paying attention yeah. to us and noticing uh, i think if you're going to do this put your straight if your machine has got a straight needle plate that stops it chewing it up as well because it has Ooh. such a small hole it won't take the fabric down with it. Oh, I'm going to try that because this one A lot does of people who just do piecing yes. keep their straight plate on the whole time because they I'm only do a straight that. stitch. Because yeah. uh, this plate is, is so easy to change mm -hmm. on here, so I'm going to do that. And it's great because it tells you if you've got something you shouldn't be doing, it tells you no, you're yeah. not supposed to be doing that. And then all I'm going to be doing, again, is pressing over to the dark side. Now this one you can't really cut down to size, but you do need to cut your little dog ear off. Right. So I'm just going to cut my little dog ear off. Yep. 
And then you're going to place it together with one of these triangles. Now you can see that these fit. So that is exactly the same size. So all we're going to do is line them up exactly. Uh -huh. And then we're going to sew our quarter of an inch seam. Now I have best pressed these okay. um, because you're working on the bias and you don't want, you never want to be stretching to fit. And also you are going from a corner to a corner. You haven't got the choice of going from a square on this one. Exactly. So just be a little bit careful. And you will Five have- Five more minutes when oh, you Oh, you will have much more time than I have. But this book is incredible. It's really, it's got some gorgeous patterns. And I know, I do know that you don't like a, um, a table runner. So I had a look mm -hmm. and they were blocks. So you could actually turn them into anything you wanted. Okay, lovely. And even the wall hanging that you could you could use as a, yeah. as a table runner, you could put like one, two, three, six of them together to make a quilt. So there's an awful lot of scope. And it's, it's about your own design as well, isn't it? It's, course, it's, yeah. it's your interpretation. Just going to cut this one. Now, I, as I say, I didn't do that the first time. I just cut the little dog ears off and then found that it didn't fit together very well in the right. end. So just take the time. Oh no, Elaine must have bad weather near her because the transmission of the picture keeps pixelating and breaking oh, up. Oh no. <coughs> Elaine, you on Sky or Freeview, my love? Apparently, Sky, you will have issues if the weather's bad. That's from Elliot. Oh, really? So, Sky, if you're watching, I didn't say that. <laughs> We're just going to place these in here. And then I just had a half square triangle. Oh, and I've got one more of these to do. Have I got time to do it? I'm doing yeah, it. very quickly. Well, I will. I will. I will be super speedy. I say, don't overstretch these because you are working on the no. bias. Lots of people got the book in their basket. Please check out if you definitely want it. Remember, it does come in the bundle, though. So you don't need to buy it if you bought the bundle. But the book is very, very popular. But lots of people got it in their baskets. Brand new today, and it's less than a pound a pattern. That's phenomenal when you think of it like that. Yeah. And I love the fact that we've done it in a different colourway, and it's made it look completely different. Yeah. You probably would have gone through there and not picked that out immediately, that that was that quilt. No. Just cutting this off. So... As I say, it is well worth taking the time just cutting them down to size. I don't, I've, I've looked everywhere and I can't see that it says that, but say I am getting on a bit and... Yeah. <laughs> I'm too polite to say that. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. So we've now got our last. Oh. I've sewn that one round the wrong way as well, but that's good. <laughs> That's, that's okay. Right, let me... Oh, no, no, I haven't. There we go. And then all we do, so we've now got our elements, so now we just sew them together. So we're going to yep. put right sides together. Now, this time, you do have that centre join. So I'm going to start sewing, and then I'm going to make sure that join is lined up. Kay. Or, as I say, I would suggest that you do pin here. But I'm not going to pin because I'm not going to have time. So I'm just going to go for it. Uh, yeah, and it has got a thread cutter. I don't know why Wendy keeps going. I was going to ask that earlier. Why are you not using your thread cutter? Well, um, a couple of times it's... Oh. Okay. Uh, El Elaine says she's on Sky. Now. Yes, it does happen quite a bit when the weather's bad on so when she's watching Turn Street. I, I You're not I getting have. on, Wendy. You're a spring chicken, <laughs> says Lynn. Oh, no, I am. Oh, Glennis got the book. No, it's not sold out, Glennis. It's, you, you, well, you've got it now. That's well done. I've done it. I keep forgetting to press the button. Oh, yeah. It has. And um, it has. same in South Wales. Must be bad weather must be oh. on its way in South Wales as well. We do need the rain. But it's, I've had enough of it now. But it's lovely out there today. I'm using my thread cutter now. It's just, um, it's... I'm a little bit fast for it today. That, that sounds awful, doesn't Half it? I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. It, I'm a little bit fast for it. So you, you're putting oh, me yeah, under yeah. pressure. So I, I didn't have time to wait for it to, to cut. But you're quite right, it does have. What it doesn't have, it's just, it's got everything. It's brilliant. It's amazing, this machine. You know you outgrow machines. Yeah. I, I don't think I'm ever going to outgrow this. That's nice. It is, isn't it? Wait till next year when Gary brings in another machine. She'll be like, oh, I need to upgrade now. No, look, I've, I've resisted, haven't I, the, the video, because I, I keep getting sidetracked. 
so you can't, I, the video one sold out, I think, at the moment. Oh, that's amazing. So well Your done. Your shelf looks that. a little bit bare behind you, doesn't it? You didn't dress the church it. is about to leap off. I the did. Shelf. I did see that. I thought I'm not touching it. Sorry, it's because I'm, I'm having to. I think we were expecting something else. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, what? Oh, were well, you it's expecting? Put it behind me. I was going to put Catherine's bag up there. Oh, that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Right, and then all you do when you've done those yep. is that you just put them together. And I haven't cut that one down to size, but I see you looking at me. Right, so while, I you're type the time. while you're stitching it, I'm just going to go through the bundles because okay. I think it's got to be too big. You can buy the book separately, which all the graphics are in now. Eight ninety nine, nine patterns. It's brilliant. I mean, less than a pound pattern. Brand spanking new today. I'm going to go move on to now to this. So, so which bundle do you want to do first? The one on the wall, which is this one here. So now you don't need to buy the book if you buy the bundle. You get two meters of the white for the background. You get a meter and a half of the yellow splodge for the bite of the border. You get a meter of the spot. You get a meter of the dark blue splodge. You get half a meter of the sky blue splodge, and you get half a meter of the cider and the book. Sixty-two ninety-nine. Enough for the front and the binding. Okay. Then the next one, which is the one Wendy's working with here, remember you get the book in the bundle. So you get the book, you get two metres of white, you get a metre and a half of peacock or kingfisher splodge, you get a metre and a half of the green floral, uh, a metre of the green floral, sorry, sorry metre of that, meet, so two metres, metre and a half, metre, metre of the butterflies, half a metre of the, the posy and half a metre of the floral. 75 99 we'll get you all of that. Six and a half metres plus the book, 75.99. Anyway, that's beautiful, isn't it? Right, so show you your finished block then. Well, I've, I've nearly finished it. Okay. So all then, all that you're going to do, I'm not going to have time to do no, it, no, but all Catherine's you need to do wasted. is just put the side, yeah, Catherine's glaring at me. Um, you have the side, <laughs> um, you just put the side pits on and then you put your corner on and then it's all finished. That is the more complicated out of yep. the two. Um, but as you can see, it isn't that complicated when you break it no, down. No, no, and also the smaller block is the same techniques, just in a different... Exactly the same. There's nothing in there that we haven't already gone through. You've got half square triangles and your little, what's you call it, a stamen? Yeah. That makes sure you put it in the right way and then yeah. it's not drooping and falling off. If you off. put it the other way, you could make it into a bumblebee, I suppose, couldn't you? Oh, that, that bumblebee anyway, is amazing. Anyway, you're back in an hour. Show us what you're making in an hour's time. <laughs> Oh, that's not a very good I'm shot. not tall enough, am I? Jump, now. <laughs> there we go. We're making the Barge Yellow tool belt, and it also turns into a tool wrap as well. But there it is. That's in an hour's time. Right, when you come back off the break, when you come back off the break, we will be doing a surprise early bird special. And Catherine, it's not on the website or anywhere yet. You can't see it, right? And Catherine's making this bag. There you go. Gorgeous from a best study design. We will see you in three minutes from now. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking, um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh you name it I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron but I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project so I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. 
Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Nina, I promise you another early bird. Well, here is today's second early bird. <whistles> Catherine's looking at me as though I'm a little bit crazy. It, it tweets. If you're at home, you can hear it tweeting. We just can't hear it in here. Right, there's no price in for the moment for a reason. If you have got a friend or family member who is just, a, I don't even know, I don't, I don't even know how much it is, right? And if you've got someone who's just starting quilting, this is brilliant, right? What you get, all three of these, right? So you get your cutting mat, which has got, it's got obviously cellophane on it, I haven't had time to take out the cellophane. Centimetres on one side, inches on the other, self-healing cutting mat. There's the little ruler with all your increments on there, all in inches and half inches and quarter inches. You get a, rot a rotary cutter, look, with the lovely, um, safety catch on it can be used by left-handed or right-handed people let's just work out how much you think it might be right so how much we pay for a rotary cutter like that 12 pounds yeah I'm, I'm going low i'm going low on purpose 12 pounds 19 pounds you know 12 pounds for a rotary cutter like that think that 12 ruler like this how much for a ruler like that i'm not doing an auction i'm just saying how much do you think you'd pay for a ruler like that 9.99 12.99 on a good day. Little cutting mat. Now we do a cutting mat like this. How much do we charge for a cutting mat like this? Anyway, so you think how much would that all three you pay for all three of those on a good day here at Sewing Street? Right? With your VAT and everything all included, right? How much would you pay? Look how much it is. Graphics coming in. 19.99, 19.99 for all three. You get the ruler, you get the road cutter, and you get the cutting back. 19. Oh, I only wanted it once, Elliot. No, oh, I don't want it in focus. Well, 19.99, 19. Right, so you get all three of this: an A3 cutting mat, a rotary cutter, and a ruler. Special price: 19.99. Now, I know I don't want to use the C word, Christmas. Christmas presents, I'm thinking. Birthday present. Just I love you present. £19.99. pence. Buy them chocolates as well if it is an I love you present. Okay, now you can go somewhere else to buy. Not this, it's not a direct comparison, but it's the same sort of thing. It's the same sort of kit. Here you go. How much is that? Where's the price? £29.99. And that, now that's reduced, oh no, not reduced, but that's a really good deal as well, 29 99 However, it's the same size ruler, same size mat, same size rotary cutter, 29 99 Brilliant, isn't it? 
So you can get all three of these for £19.99. And if you've already bought something this morning, then that's your PMP paid for, isn't it? I'd multi buy. Oh, people are multi buying. People are multi buying. It's an early bird special that you were supposed to be here at 8 o'clock, didn't arrive in time. We're doing it at 9 o'clock. Because we know, we know how much you're going to love this. All three of those for £19.99. So you get a 12 inch ruler, a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, plus your uh, A3 cutting mat, self healing cutting mat. Loads of you coming in for this. Right, so £10 for the ruler no, on a normal day. Just in a ca price comparison. Oh, right, that's this ruler. That's actually this ruler. It's on its own, if you bought it on its own, it looks big, big on that picture, but it's the same size, 6 and a half by 12. 10 for 9.99. Let's not split hairs now. They've only got 1,046 of those in stock. Right? So that on its own, if you went to Quilted Bear and bought that, is 10, 9.99. Right? I mean, if you think it should be 30 pounds, we're saying 10 pounds for each on a good day. Yeah, I, what I would do is, while, you, while you've got your order in, go to the website, buy those little grips, just to put on the bottom of the room, because it doesn't have the silicon grips on it, but you could have the little grips on it. I know. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I need to get on, but I will remind you about on each hour, only because uh, Catherine's got a lot to show you this hour. And how many did we start with? Please be careful, because when we had this last time, not this one, I've never seen this one before, when we worked at Sewing Quarter, we had one a bit like it, and at, we sold it by the hundred, by the hundred, by the hundred, by the hundred. Uh, similar product, different brand. Reduced, oh, there we go, that's the one I remember. Reduced from £36 to £28.79. That's the reduction price, £28.79. They've only got one in stock as well. They've only got one in stock. Uh, there's another place you can go to for £34.99. If you want to ask Hannah where it is, I can't show it to you. Carol says, I got something like that when I started. Uh, Debbie says, good morning, John and team. At home preparing for my show next Monday. Love watching Wendy. Oh, she's gone now. Looking forward to Catherine. Love the new early bird graphics, Elliot. Oh, yeah, but doesn't he have... He forgot them, first thing, and now he's making up for it, isn't it? Margaret said, been looking for a starter set for ages, ordered one. Oh, just, it's good to have as a spare. Or, I know, how many of you are going to your holiday homes, your caravans, your, your lodges, your whatever, motorhomes? How brilliant to stash this away. It could live in there the whole time. You don't need to think about packing it, do you? Keep going through because we've got to. I've got to launch this out. I've got to say hello to Catherine first of all. Good morning, John. Lovely. Oh, to hang see on. You. There you go. There's Catherine. <laughs> Good morning, she said. Uh, what's that, Hannah? Oh, please be careful now. Please be careful because they're absolutely flying out. They're absolutely flying out. Right. So we're going to make this bag. Well, I'm not. Catherine is. Catherine's going to make this bag. I have got four different colourways for you to see. Yeah, let's do the first one, which is the one we've made. So what you get in this bundle is you get a metre of your main fabric, a metre of your lining, you get the instructions, and you get... Now, I can't remember if this is Bozal or if this is... Vi oh, no, Starville, Starville, Starville. All of that you get for £38... Ignore the zips, ignore that. £38.99. And, pence. and you can, that will make this one. You'll need to buy a zip. That's it, really. You just need to buy a zip. $38.99. Okay, that's this bundle. The one that Catherine is going to demonstrate in is this one. So you get a metre of the uh, tapestry fabric, a metre of the blue. It's Aztec, that one. Uh, instructions and your Starville. 38 99. Now, obviously, on the website, you can't, you'll see those colours if you go into more details, but this is it. That's what, th you're going to see this one being made anyway. £38.99. Next, I've got a paisley one, which is this one. 
Now, this isn't tapestry fabric. This is your quilting weight cotton. Um, we've got one in, in the other room if you want to go and have a look at it. It's just by Neil's desk. If you want to ask Neil, he'll show it to you. Pop in any time you like and ask Neil to show you. There's a cotton version made of that. So you get a metre of your lining. You get a metre of your main fabric. You get your instructions and you get your Styleville. $35.99, that one. Lovely. And then last but not least, I've got it in blue and grey. Which is this one and this one. Moda. Metre of that, a metre of the grey. Plus your instructions, plus your Styleville. $39.99. Now the only... Oh, do, do, do we've got this on its own, we haven't we? Pattern on its own. Book, on, uh, book uh, what's this called? Pattern on its own? What's, it, what's this called? It's a book. It's a, it's a mini book. A little book. So I'm just trying to tidy up as I go here. So that's the pattern on its own. 650. You just get one of those. Right, do you want Styleville on its own? You can have it. Now, it comes in the bundle. You don't need to buy extra. But if you've already got the pattern or you've got something else that need, needs it in... There we go. Now, it does come already pre-cut. This is what you'll get for your $6.99. Yeah, that's your half metre piece, so that's the width of it there. Now, it's one-sided, it's one side fusible, one side not fusible. But that's it. And now, if you buy three, they don't come joined together. You'll get three bags with three of these in. Right, and then roo and not rulers. Oh, what is the matter with me today? <laughs> it's because I looked at the ruler but meant to pick up the zip. There's no zips in the bundles. You need to buy a zip. You might already have one at home. I've got one in cream, which is one that Catherine's used in her sample bag. What? Yeah, that's right, it's a zip. He's so funny, isn't he, Elliot? £2.49. It's a cream nylon dress and skirt zip. Well, I would, that's a bit long for a skirt, I'd say. Wouldn't you expect? It's not a skirt zip, is it? Which colour next, sorry, Han? Grey. That's how Elliot wanted it. There you go. £2.49. pence. <coughs> Grey zip, 51 centimetres. And then we've got it in black as well. Yes, the wrong way up, but there you go. Come on, we've got lots to do. £2.49 black nylon zip. Right, Joe, let's get on. Now, Catherine, good morning. Hello. How are you? Yes, I'm now, good, Now, I thought you'd you. had your hair cut. Your hair definitely was different to me today. No, that's because my daughter did the straightening last night and she's, you know, she's a teenager and she knows how, how to, to do, do it. How to do it, yeah. 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 <laughs> if you'd done it, it wouldn't look like no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have thought I'd been pulled through her head backwards. Oh, no. Well, it looks lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we're not going to make the whole bag, are we? You're going to show we us bits, are No, we? we won't get the whole bag made in the time, but I'm going to talk you through the whole process um, because there's quite a lot of different elements to get ready before you construct it all together. Can I ask one question? Would you say, if, you, if you've never made a bag before? Not a beginner's bag, okay. I wouldn't okay. say. It's part, partly because you're dealing with the foam. And once you, once you start putting that in your bags, everything gets much thicker and more difficult to kind of get through your machine. Okay. Um, so it's really from that point of view. Brilliant. Actually, I mean, could make it without the foam and ha make a softer bag. Or, or if, if you're not going to use the tapestry, the fabric might might work. And you, you've got your style there. Cotton's a little bit softer than the tapestry, exactly. but this is very lovely fabric. It is, isn't it? Really nice. Before we start, apparently we've got a couple of pictures <coughs> to show of ones people have made. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. Oh, John and Catherine, this is the bag I made from the Beth pattern, and I'm really pleased with it. Keep up the good work, everyone. Loving the programme so much. Love from Sally in sunny very Pagham. Nice. Now, that looks very like the one that's in the office, doesn't it? That's I might, Maybe we've done it in a bundle like that before. It's lovely. Thank you. Was there another picture? Oh, that was it. Right. OK. So I'll let you it, get it's on It's a this. nice bag. It's it, When you open it up, it's really square. 
it's, but when you close it it's you know, oh, that's it's sort nice. of squidgy so it's got a really nice shape to it and it's got quite funky little pockets that sort of that are quite open okay so i'm going to show you how to that make that was very expertly done should make show you that pocket um so what i've done i have uh, cut out my bag outer and my foam and my bag lining. I've put it all together and I've quilted it. Okay. So that is your first stage. You can see on the back, I've just used a grid on this one because this has got such a lovely grid pattern to follow. Mm -hmm. So that was nice and easy. Um, I did use some 505 to get all the layers together because only one side of your foam is fusible. Oh, of course. So yeah. it's quite handy to have your, your We've spray We've got 505 adhesive. coming up in the next um, hour because it's, it's just, do you know what? I use it all the time, mm. use it all mm. the time now. This one, I did some wavy quilting. Beth suggests doing some wavy quilting on it in her pattern, so that's what I did on that one. But really, the choice is yours, yeah. however you like to do it. So that is all quilted together. Right, uh, so then we're going to take our piece like this and we're going to turn it into a little tube, first of all. You definitely need bag clips if you're dealing with this I think because you know as soon as you put it together like this suddenly you've got six layers yeah and it's quite a bit oh one thing I would say about the tapestry fabric is you might want to neaten or overlock it before you put it all together it does start to fray a little bit okay and if you <laughs> If you go wrong and you have to unpick it, I found, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> then it frays a little bit more. Okay. So it mightn't be a bad idea if you if you just to zigzag it or overlock it yeah. before you then. Do Are you sewing else. all of those layers so together? So I am sewing all these layers together. So yes. Use your walking foot if you've I've got, got one. I've got my walking foot on the machine. Now the seams are quite small on this bag. It's a quarter inch seam. The other thing you can do, I have to, I, I, she doesn't actually suggest it in the pattern, but I did it when I was prepping this, is to actually trim your style bill slightly smaller. Right. Because you fastened it to your bag amount, and then you're not, you're only just catching it in your seam, and it makes it a little bit easier to Perfect. sew. So, my pedal is never ever in the right place. <laughs> you know, Amanda, who, we, who you said hello to the last time. Yeah, I was yeah, on. yeah. She said to me, Catherine, your pedal is never in the right place. Oh. I said, it's not, Amanda. No. It's not, no. Blame Elliot. <laughs> He's in charge of pedals. Okay. But your walking foot does make a big difference. And I think you really do need one for um, this sort of sewing. All right. Yeah, I'm not. I've just. I haven't got the little bit up, so I can see what's happening. Somehow that that, that looks better. <laughs> I know I can't see what's happening, but it feels right. <laughs> uh, I want to have the top open. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do. Can I do it on my machine at home? <laughs> you can see if your threads unwinding and oh, stuff, okay. can't you? Yeah. I know. I'm a bit weird. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like to. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to press that seam open. When Elliot took the picture earlier, he took it with the back seam at the back. I did know, I sort of noticed yeah. that, yeah. But that is the back of your bag. He was in a rush, he had a lot to do. He did, morning. he did have a lot to do. He was very stressed. I know, we'll let him off. Okay. <laughs> now, then she has a little thing where we go, obviously we're going to have raw edges on our bag if we're not careful. Right. So... We have some little strips to cover them over. Beth loves that, doesn't she? On lots she of her patterns, like she does that. lots of those. Um, yeah. Is it straight or is it a bias cut strip? It is a straight cut okay. strip. Because, I mean, we're just cutting a straight seam, so that's okay. So yeah. I'm just pressing in a quarter of an inch on each side. Mm -hmm. And what she tells you to do is to hand stitch that over. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, so you're not binding it, you're just covering it. You're just covering okay. it like that. What I would suggest, if you want to speed it up, is actually machine stitch one side. Yeah. And then just hand stitch the other side. Yeah, yeah. That would make it a bit, a bit you know, a little bit quicker and a little bit less um, hand stitching for you. So you're going to do that to make it nice and neat. I'm go not going to stand and hand stitch. No, that. no, no, That's no. That's just no. to tell you what you're doing. Okay. I suppose depending on your fabric, 
you could just top stitch both of them down because if you, do, if you did stripes of quilting, because you, you, you're going to go through to the other side, it could just be part of your quilting stripes. Do you, you, yeah. you know how you've done the crosshatch? Yes. If you'd just done stripes going down like that, you then put that down and sewed through both of that. You could, absolutely. It would look like two of your straight you could, lines you of your could, quilting if you yeah. don't like hand stitching or something like that. You could. It'd be quite tricky to do, but you could yeah. do that. Yeah, that's what it depends on your machine, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, then we have it like this. We flatten it so we've got raw edges at the top and bottom, joining seam in the middle of one side, okay? Yeah. And she says to measure it to make sure it's in the middle. I'm going by eye. I always okay. go by eye. Right. I always think if it looks right, it'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> it'll be all right <laughs> on the night. Yes, okay. So we're going to stitch the bottom of the bag as well in the same way. Because I'm going, to, I'm doing this part just to show you how you're going to box your corners. Okay. To get this really nice square shape. Yeah. So we're going to get going across the bottom there. Now at home, have you got an industrial machine or have you got a domestic? Machine? Oh, I've only got a domestic. So one. you've gone through all these layers. I've on the made that on my normal domestic machine. I did have my walking foot. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. But yeah, just a normal one. Nothing. In fact. I did it on one of the machines at the craft centre and they are not that fancy. They're a fairly standard domestic so it will, machine. So don't worry if you're thinking, I think all my machine wouldn't go no. through all that. Just, I would yeah. advise a walking foot. Yeah. Claire's loving your button bracelet. I made it myself. Oh, did you? I did. You've got elastic in it. It has got a little elastic, but I've punched all the different little buttons and deck they've all got little different decorations on. Oh. So you made the buttons as well? Yeah. Mm. Woman of many talents. I made my necklace. Yeah. Oh, and the necklace. I haven't seen the necklace. What's the necklace then? I can't see it from here. That's sort of got little flowers and, and things on. And that is it one, again, that is one was it? silver metal clay. <coughs> this one was silver smithy. Oh, now the, uh, when I did my um, <coughs> stint on jewellery maker, the first show I did was silver metal clay. It's good. You it's get like it, magic, in a, in it in a sachet and you mix it with water, don't you? And then it makes it into a pot, yes. like a potty. I know. You think, oh, well, this, this won't be silver. It turns it into silver, doesn't it? It does. It does. So, the same thing. You've done your bottom one. You're going to you've got to have another strip the same size as this, and it goes over the bottom. And you think that's a little bit weird because I've got a gap, but that's okay because that's where you're going to box your corners. Oh, of course. Of so course, that's yeah. going to get hand stitched there. Mm -hmm. Again, you could machine one side before you do it. Yeah. Right. So let's just go on to the boxing bit. Just want to make sure I get my measurements right here. Uh huh. So. We're going to flatten the bag, making sure the baseline's in line with the seams. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's five inches down each side. Where's my, where's my friction pen? I remember that. Didn't remember my ruler. There we go. Let's grab one off the side. So when I was doing this, I was thinking this is really big amount yeah. to do. It seems like a massive amount to cut and. Uh, snip off, but it is right. Oh, so you, now you're measuring the actual but folds, not five inches it, down the seam. Yeah, five inches down each side. Yeah, yeah. And draw across. And that does seem like quite a big corner, yeah, doesn't it's huge. it? I know. But it does give you, let me just check that, I've not got myself quite even. But it does give you this nice boxy shape. Yeah. So stitch across. Six eighty, just going through it like hot knife through butter. You probably don't want to whiz through it. No, I have a tendency to whiz a bit. No. They do and say then don't halfway go too through, fast. clunk, it will, I'll have broken a needle on something. Oh, don't be Should, saying that. No. <laughs> but um, you just want to, to go through it to probably a bit slower. I'm just aware of what I've got to get through. Yeah, of course. I'm just looking for my nice scissors. That's it. Okay, so you've, you've trimmed three, and you're going to snip all that off. 
And then we don't we, use that corner for anything. It looks we almost don't. big enough to be able to use for something else. I feel like, I, yeah, I don't know. I could keep snacks in it or something. Yeah, sweeties. <laughs> and I've, somewhere I've got another little bit cut. I think it's those ones. Uh huh. These ones get covered over here. Okay. Again, she, she says hand stitch it down. Yeah. To just to hand yeah. stitch it down. So if I just do this side, and then we can turn it round, and you'll see the nice shape we've got. Does make a lovely. That make, I mean, I know it's a big box uh, box corner, but box bottom it's it does a very give nice it a lovely shape. shape yeah. yeah, it does. And it doesn't um, make the back because normally if you did that bigger box bottom, it would take half your bag away, wouldn't it? But actually, it doesn't look like it takes any of the fullness of the bag or the, the space inside the bag away. Yeah, I was, I was a bit, when I was making the sample, I was thinking, oh, this, this doesn't look right, but, yeah. but it very much is. It's good that she binds all the seams as you go along as well, because it well, means it you haven't suddenly nice got a finished bag and they think, oh, yeah. I've got a raw edge in there. Yeah. So at this point, when you've got all your boxing done and all your little raw edges done you'll have a nice neat inside of your uh -huh. bag so imagine i have done all that yeah. hand stitching turn it around i really like this color actually and yeah, i like the lovely. blue it's with Aztec, it it's gorgeous yeah. See, we've got this lovely, lovely shape. Oh, do you know what? That would look lovely by a fire. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. like a fireside with all your <laughs> well, kindling you in. We could adapt it, like couldn't that. you? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's very sturdy. Yeah, very sturdy. Okay, and you can see I've done quite. I'm quite pleased with my. You know that I've got my band. I haven't cut off too many of my squares. Yes. As well. Yeah. So you can pop that bit to one side. Ready to then get all the other little bits ready. Uh, okay, so let's go through one of the pockets. So this is the, now the pattern actually has two sizes, a medium bag and a large bag. Okay. The bundles are for this size, this is the medium size. Oh, okay. You can make a large size and it, that's all in the pattern right. and that has four pockets. But we haven't, there's not enough fabric in the bundle to make the large no, one. Um, Shall I check? Let me check. Yeah. I had a bit left over, whether you'd, I don't, whether you'd have quite enough, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, for the large bag, no, you need 1.3 metres uh, for the larger bag. Oh, right, okay, for the larger bag, you need 1.3 metres of the outside fabric and 70 centimetres of the lining fabric. So I'm not with, you couldn't do it with your, the tapestry ones, but if you've got that, oh, you, could. you could do the, the outer in that and then the lining in that. Hang on now, hang on. <laughs> you'd need somewhere for there to be another you'd have to have some of that on the outside yes. somewhere and I don't know how you I think work it's that. because the pockets are made in your outer fabric. Oh, okay. That's that's why. That could be why then. Um yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is uh the the sort of different bits you have for your pocket. You have two large rectangles and four small rectangles. Mm -hmm. Uh we're gonna take one of the large rectangles and we're gonna fold it in half with wrong sides together so the short ends meet. And we're going to sew them with a quarter inch seam. Is it just the fabric? There's nothing else this in there? This is just fabric at this point. Um, but we're going to do something quite nifty in a minute. If you were using just the cotton version, would you put an iron-on interfacing on the back of it? Or would you still to be right with it? To make it a bit sturdier. Yeah, well... Or would it be too sturdy? It's all right to we're say gonna, no. It's going I, to I'm have a little bit of, of it's going to have a bit of this in the top. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So then. it might. So I think probably not. not. Okay. I just suddenly thought because if you're making it out of the tapestry, which is quite sturdy, you might need to make the cotton, but obviously not if you're going to put that in the top of it. Oh, Carol, very quickly, Carol, while um, Catherine's sewing that. 
The tip I gave earlier about it, if you're doing um, lots of straight stitching and you don't want the needle to take the fabric through into the bottom, put your straight stitch plate on because that's just got one little single hole on it rather than a wider hole. What you mustn't do is try and do a zigzag then because you'll break your needle and everything, but it stops the fabric from going down into the hole an awful lot more. Sorry, Catherine. No, that's okay. Um, so you've made a kind of little little roll of fabric. So one of your small styleville strips that you've cut goes in the top up to that fold. Right. And we're going to sew really close to it. Now, she does suggest putting your zipper foot on. I'm not going to start wrestling with the, the, um, oh, no, the you're machine there. and the yeah. walking foot and everything like that. But if you're at home and you've sort of done all that tricky bit on the main bit of the back, you could swap to your yeah. zipper foot to do, to do this. So you literally would butt your zipper foot up against the edge yeah, of the... Yeah, it just lets you get nice and yeah. close to it. Uh, Claire wants to know, did you make your dress? If so, what's the pattern? No, I didn't, I'm afraid. Oh. It's one of my charity shop bargains. Oh, so you can't even, we can't even send you anywhere <laughs> to get it, Claire, I'm afraid. Market Harbour has very good, where I live, has uh, very good um, charity shops. Have they got things in them at the moment, though? They're such accepting yeah, things now. Yeah, yeah, I've got bags and bags and bags good. of stuff to go to the charity shop. Right, we're going to do it that way around. OK. So I'm <coughs> just going to get as close as I can. To be fair, the walking, because the walking foot kind of goes along an even things, you can get quite close with it. Yeah. Okay, so it just makes this sort of little padded top part of your pocket. And then she's suggesting an extra little bit of stitching just sort of for deco decorative effects. So we could do a, a couple of little lines of And these are inside, stitching. are they, these These pockets? are inside, yes. Okay. That's not very decorative. It's just a straight line. Well, I'm just going to do two lines. Of <laughs> <laughs> two lines of top stitching along to make it look nice, John. I'm very fond of top stitching. Yes, I know. <laughs> I was waiting for you to do, you know, spell my name or something like that. I'll do that next time. All right, then. <laughs> I'd have to put my free motion foot on then, wouldn't yeah. I? I'd be doing nothing but changing feet on my machine. Sometimes you do these projects at home, don't you? And you think, oh, you need about three different feet, and you just wish you'd got three different machines. Yeah. You could set them well, all Well, Tula up. Pink it's always says that she has seven machines on the go Does at she? once with different colours on it, different feet on it, different stitches I on could it. Do that. So she just wheels wrap. You could do it in the craft centre. I could centre. do it in the craft centre. I've got about 12 machines yeah, exactly. in there. <laughs> no, you can't have any people in. You just have to be on yeah, your own. Yeah, just me yeah. sewing different <laughs> things. Okay, so I've made that look quite nice at the top. And then we get one of our smaller rectangles. And we're going to line up one edge, yeah. like so. And you have got extra coming up at the top, that's uh -huh. right. And then this is going to fold oh, up, and it's big, it is see. bigger, so it is supposed to be bigger. Yeah. So you're almost, almost, almost like making a bucket pocket, aren't you? It is a little bit, yes. And Gerardine's in. Hi, John and Catherine. Love how relaxed you are doing that demo, Catherine. Love your button bracelet. Oh, she's obviously just switched on. Can I ask where you got it from, please? And is it silver? It is silver, and I made it on a silversmithing class at my craft centre. So there. So now, is that the clay, or is that the... This one was pieces, solid silver, silversmithing. And that you just so they had this, into they had this lovely punch, and you could punch out different sizes, circles, and then, like, some I've engraved, and some I've texturised, and done different things on. So, listen, so, uh, so really, you need to, if you live in that, where is it? It's in Leicestershire. Where about Market Harbour. Oh, it's in Market yeah. Harbour as well. Yeah. If you live near Market Harbour, it's really worth going to have a look at Catherine's website, because you, it's not just quilting and sewing oh, and bag making. No. There's all sorts of craft. Um, we have that lovely lady that does the knitting here. Um, uh, Debbie. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, Carrie. Yes, yes Carrie. Carrie. Carrie was on. Uh, and she, so Carrie, who's on We Are Lane sometimes, lovely, really, really lovely lady. She teaches there as well, doesn't she? She does, does classes. Just knitting and crochet, yeah. So I'm just stitching down the sides. Uh, 
Um, again, it's a small seam. If you're liking the shots at the moment, Hannah is directing at the moment rather than producing. And Elliot, Elliot's now producing, just so you well, know. Well, they're getting a bit bored in there, weren't they? No, no. It's uh, good to learn each other's jobs it in is. case one of them keels over, you know. It is. OK, so we've got it to this point. Now we're going to put two pleats in it. Right. We want to try and get them as even as possible so that it lies flat. OK. She doesn't give you any particular measurements for them. Oh, just until it goes she flat. She just says to, to pleat it. Yeah. Because so. it's not a complete box piece. There's not enough for it to go all the way to the centre. It's just literally doing two knife pleats opposite each other, aren't it you? Is, just till it's yes. the right size. That's it. So okay. we'll fiddle it till we're happy. Give it a little press. Great job, Hannah and Elliot, says Gerardine. And then we're going to stitch them in place across the bottom. So we'll just clip those in place. Okay. Now you need to go to the machine one now, Hannah. Press that, say it, well done. we've got another small rectangle just let me read and make sure I get this the right way round right, okay second pocket piece right sides together on top and pin in place around the outside right I will use I'm going to use um, bag clips rather than pins yeah so these two are the same size then so this is the the front and the back bit yeah so this is going to get sewn on and flipped over right because you'll find when you put them in the bag, they don't, they're not, they're only attached at the top right. in your bag. And then they sort of hang, hang loose. Hang loose. Oh, so you're just making a bag. So, so you're it's making, like you're making yeah. a little pouch almost yeah. to put inside. Got it. Hannah's not letting go of the directing <laughs> reins at all. Elliot's standing behind her going, move. And she's like, <laughs> Oh, you couldn't see that. She's like this. <laughs> okay, and then we're switching down three sides, but you actually leave the top bit open. Right. That's the bit that will then get attached in when you put it all together at the end. But we're going down the sides and around the bottom. Okay. Just having a quick slurp of my water and my bottles leaked all down me. I thought I was doing it <laughs> secretly while Catherine was just sewing that and somehow the spout has leaked and it all went down the Okay, I'm going to trim the corners because obviously we've got quite a lot of layers of fabric yeah. there. You can press the tapestry, uh, Elliot's asking if you can press the tapestry fabric, oh, yes. you can, can't you? Yes, yes. I'm going to, Elliot. Do what? I'm going to press it. Yeah, oh, she's going to press it, Elliot. Keep, keep <laughs> your air on. Give, give a girl a chance. Yeah. Uh, morning, John and Catherine. Nurse Julie here. Absolutely love this bag. It would be great for taking to work with a large mask and bits in from Nurse Julie. It would. Not on night shifts. Hang on. She can't be on a night shift. Or is she still up from a night shift? 
Nurse Julie works nights. Oh, say. gosh. She always messages in when she gets home. She watches us to relax a bit before she goes to bed. I would probably, we've got the tiny little iron out today. If I was making this at home, I'd probably have my big one on with this sort of slightly heavier fabric. Uh, Vida wants to know which machine you're using. It is the Elna 680 Plus. Here, I'm here. The Elna 680 Plus, <laughs> it's the one that I've got. Watch this space. It's not in stock today. It's not in stock today. So that's how you make your pocket. Yeah. You're going to make another one the same. Oh, I see. Right, lovely. Yeah, so yeah. it's quite nice. It's, you know, yeah. it would hold a nice water bottle. It'll hold something. It'll hold your purse. You, yeah. You know, it holds nice fat things. So we're going to make, well, you, make, you make a second one of those. Right, let's just go on to how you make your straps. Right. I just want to try and cover as much no, of no, the it's different brilliant. bits it's, on no, this it's, as it's possible. It's brilliant that you're doing that, yeah. Uh, okay, here's our strap pieces. There's an awful lot of Styleville in every bit of this, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've got our Styleville ready for this. And, okay. Right, we're going to sew the Styleville to one of the long edges on the right side of the fabric. Okay, oh. I know. It's all going to get, you can see on, on the, the one that's been done, it is all enclosed. Yeah, in. yeah, 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 yeah. And actually it makes a really nice, nice comfortable handle on your hands. Well, yes, because I think this is not just ladies that do this, I do this well. The bigger the bag, the more you cram into it. Oh, yeah. That's why Hannah doesn't bring a handbag with her in the morning. I carry about three massive bags around with me all the time. Oh. Well, where are your pockets today? Hannah said she doesn't have bags. She has pockets, but you only came in in your dress today. Oh, well, there's pockets on the dress. But no food today. Normally she comes in with, like, bags of food and things. You had breakfast at home before you came in. Gosh, that must have been very early. Yeah. Well, no, she's very late. You see, so <laughs> it gives her time. Oh, she's glaring at me now. I was eating mine in the car. Who on you the way. With? Yeah. It's too about, early when we leave about, home, though, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's like, it oh, no, I can't eat Yeah, now. just as I'm getting on the M6, I usually think, OK, I'm, I'm ready for it now. Oh, OK. <laughs> Bit messy trying to eat Rice Krispies <laughs> on the M6, though, isn't it? <laughs> I have mine when I get here. <laughs> Pamela says, Hannah's on a diet, John. Is she? She is. So, well, so how, where did the uh, bacon roll or the sausage bap fit in this morning? And Sue said, did you miss the brief this morning, John? It's not Mr. Wet's T-shirt competition today. Can you imagine me and, a wet, me and Elliot? We'll have to do that one week. Me and Elliot in a wet T-shirt <laughs> competition. Okay, I'm going to press in a little bit on the other long side. Uh -huh. And then this, it basically all rolls round and this comes over the top and it all closes up nice and neatly. Uh, Sue says, thank you for the inspiration, Catherine. She's got some tapestry fabric home. This is from Sue. And she's got the pattern now, so she's going to make the bag. Yeah, brilliant. You've inspired her. Yeah, get the pattern on its own. Be brilliant. Get some style fill, because we've got it by, got the piece to, by the piece today. Use her favourite fabric at home. Half the pattern on its own has gone already, just so you know. Styleville, if you're doing it, uh, if you're doing your own fabric at home, this is what you get for your six ninety nine. If you buy more than one, then don't come join together. That is a good big piece, though. And that's enough, isn't it, to make the bag? Yes. It must be because it's in the bundle. That size is in the bundle. Okay, so that's all enclosed now. Yeah. And we're going to stitch down it to hold it together. And like I did on the top of the pocket, a couple of extra lines just to make it okay. make it look nice. Uh, who's asked that? Oh, Nurse Julie said, could you make the straps longer if you wanted to, to make it a shoulder bag? You could do, absolutely. Would there be enough? I'm not sure if there'd be, there'd be enough fabric. Not sure about your style, though, but you can always patch it together inside. It doesn't actually matter if you haven't got one really, really long piece. Or if you've got something else at home, 
Yeah. It doesn't have to be the same stiffness as the bag. No, it so you doesn't. can put some H640 or some wadding in. I mean, if you're doing like. it with this tapestry fabric, it's quite firm fabric yeah. anyway. Um, and when it's folded round on itself like that, if you, even if you just had some wadding or interfacing inside, you still have quite a sturdy strap. Yeah, exactly. So yes, you absolutely, you could Brilliant. make them longer. Uh, morning, John Scott and Catherine. Wonderful demo. I'm glued to the TV, says Christine. <clears throat> and well done, Hannah and Elliot, for their awesome work. I'm sewing that off the end, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can see it wobbling. <clears throat> Uh, Little Holland Tapestry, the one that's in the uh, graph at the moment, that's the fabric that the original bag's made out of, not the one that Catherine's using. There. Yeah. That's this one, the one the graph is doing at the moment to make that one. That's the back as well, that is the back of it. Yes. In reality, it does, you, the front of it doesn't have, the seams only at the back, not yeah. the front. Okay, I'm not going to do the extra top stitching just because I'm keeping my eye on the tie. No, that's fine. Um, now, you make some nice little ends for your, um, I can't think what they're called, straps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your it awful when, it's awful when that, you know. Your mind the, just goes yeah. completely blank, doesn't it? Yeah, so we make some nice little. Uh, strap ends. Little strap ends, which. Uh, Sue said, like "What interface pout. would interfacing the tapestry have any benefit? I think it would make it a bit too thick. You wouldn't want it? interfacing and the styleville. You, you, I think you'd really struggle with it if you um, if you did. What size needle have you, you are you using? It's what was in the machine. It's it was what was in the machine. But if you're doing it at home, put a heavy weight one in your yep, in your machine. Definitely. And you're just using normal glue. But normal thread. Yeah, normal yes. thread. Um, just pressed in the ends, I'm going to stitch down both sides of this little tab, turn it round and it's going on the end of my okay. strap. So it's like a little pocket for your strap, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an easy way to put straps on as well, because all your ends are all neatened without having to fold it back and back all the time. I think you'd find it too, too thick, wouldn't yeah. you? I'm skipping all the, the, you know, trimming it down, making it really neat here, mm -hmm. <laughs> just so I can oh, show Oh, yeah, yeah, you. exactly. But she does tell you all this in the pattern, they're, they're extensive constructions. So you can see you've got a nice little little pocket, another one for the other end, uh -huh. and these get stitched on to your bag. Oh, nice. It's nice, the contrast, isn't it? It is nice, actually. So they'll get stitched on like so. Uh -huh. Now the only, what, I don't, how are we doing, John? Uh, we've got another five more minutes, you're right. Okay. Four more minutes. I wanted very quickly just to explain how the zip goes on. Oh, okay. Because Perfect. it's not dead straightforward. Okay. Um, cause it's, because it, it's, actually, let me just take that out of the way. It'll be easier for everyone to okay. see. Because with this bag, when you open it up, she says, <laughs> It's got like this sort of little lip inside. Right. And then that folds over it. You can see the zip's almost oh, on the top yes. rather than set yes, in. Yes, yes, yeah. So it gets put in in, in a, a way that possibly seems a little bit different to normal. I know I'd not want put one in quite like it. Right. And it, it took me a minute or two to work out what I was doing. So I was wanted just to explain. Now you will, on your zip, it is a 20 inch zip for the medium bag. You'll make a couple of little tabs for that too. Right. And then it opens out. So I want you to imagine there's a little tab on here. Mm -hmm. And you're actually pinning the wrong side of the zip like that, or clipping, to the raw edge at the top of the bag. Right. So that when it's sewn, it will roll in like that. Right. Okay. 
and it took it just took me when I was when I was making it I, I well when I first looked at it I thought I can't work out how to do this I had to go away and leave it and, and mull oh, it over you know yeah yeah like you do <laughs> and then I, and when I came back I was like oh yeah okay it's like this but um, so that one will go around that side and then this one will go around this side so it does look like you've got a little bit of a funny twist when you've got it all in uh -huh. but that's right it will work right when you unroll it so you stitch in your zip like that and then you have one more very long piece of binding mm -hmm. oh I see okay yeah that then you make into a little tube which then gets stitched over the top and into the side and that holds all your pockets in and everything as well. Oh, okay. So if I just show on the one that I made. Yeah. So you've got your zip and you've got your lining, which side's neatest. There and you, you go. can Perfect. see it comes over and holds oh, that pocket in too. So you see. put your pockets in right at the end. Oh, that must be strange as well. Yeah, and and only fix in the top of your pocket. The, yeah, the little bottom bits. Yeah. Are so free. So that was that was a design that I'd not come across before. It was yeah. that you know. But it's not actually that bags. difficult, is it? It's, it's not, just figuring no. out how you do it. No. Um, if you don't want to use clip, the other thing that might be you might find useful when you're putting that in is quilting tape just oh. to hold that zip in place yeah. as well, because you're going right on the edge. Mm. Yeah. Is that on today's um, pre-order? It is, it is from last, the last, oh, it's from the last hour. If you want some of the quilting tape, we can put it through now very quickly. Uh, I've got a couple of questions here. It's a great demo, uh, says Julie. Oh, can't help noticing Catherine's bracelet. <laughs> it's not mother of pearl buttons, it's silver. Catherine made it herself. Um, and then Sue says double-sided quilting tape is great at helping the zip stay in place while you sew it in. And Melanie says, Catherine, what a great demo. And then she asks, can I ask, has it been demoed before? So, um, uh, not, well, not by me. No, I don't no, know. we have we have done it before because that the picture of the one before we've done it in the Alice in Glass fabric before. But I don't know when. Or, oh, we can check for you. We can check for you now. Okay. Um, but that's a re, that's a seventeenth of February was when it was demonstrated. Seventeenth of February, Melanie. Um, yes, because you think when you read that, I would think, what's she doing with that zip? But actually, it's quite an easy way of putting it in when you it know is, what It is, and then doing. it just sort of rolls back. Yeah. And then when you, all your bag goes together, it just kind of, you think, oh, I've got this massive fat bag. It's never going to work. But yeah. then it all just squidges together and makes this lovely shape. I quite like it. I know I shouldn't say this, cause, but I quite like it without the zip. I quite like to do a bucket bag. And you, you could just bind the top, could put the you handles could. on. Or, and bind the top and then have it. Uh, I mean, I know it's not very burglar proof because anyone can dip their hand into what a bag like that can't So, they? if you but wanted to, because you've got this long bit, yeah, that could just go over the top like so. You put your hands on, yeah, things on like normal, and you can still stitch your pockets in in the same way, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, so and it'd be quite nice then as a big open bag, absolutely. It? Lovely, yeah. thank you, Catherine. That's now, you're it. back in an hour doing the quilt behind you, aren't you? Yes, well, not the whole thing. A bit oh, I was going to say, you can make the whole thing <laughs> in an hour. Uh, so, thank you for that. I've got a lot to get through here. So, let's start with the bundles. The colourway that we're working with is the Aztec one. So, you get a metre of your Aztec fabric, you get a metre of your blue cotton. I don't want to call it lining because it's our, you know, good quality blue cotton. You get the instructions. Oh, sorry, I'll wait for you to come over. There you go. Metre of this, metre of this, pattern and your style fill. All you need to get on top of that is the zip. So, all of that for £38.99. Okay. Then we've got it in the one that we've already made it in, which is the most popular, this one here. So you get a metre of, oh sorry, a metre of your brown, a metre of your little Holland tapestry, your instructions and your styleville, 38 99 that will make that, that's the back of it. Okay, then I've also got it in paisley. Now this isn't tapestry fabric, this is your quilting weight cotton. So you get a metre of your beige, a metre of your paisley fabric, which is beautiful, the instructions and the styleville, 35.99. Lovely. Then I've got it in moda, which is in your, you get a metre of your grey, that's your lining, 
a meter of your Moda outer fabric, your instructions, and your Starville. $39.99, that one. Pattern on its own. About to sell out, but I'll give you, give you a quick um, shimmy. There you go. £6.50. Okay, right, it'll have gone, it'll have gone. Those of you checking out, right, move, move. Starville on its own. Now, this is what you get for your six ninety nine. Uh, uh, yeah, $6.99. That's what you get. If you've ordered two of them, they come already cut. They're in the warehouse already cut, ready to be sent to you. The zips are underneath me on the, um, not on the pre-order side, but on the show, things that we've shown. But I've got to show you this because hundreds of you have come in for this now. Hundreds of this was our special early bird. Should have been here at eight o'clock. Didn't arrive till half eight, so we did it at nine o'clock for you. Nineteen ninety nine. <clears throat> now, if you buy this Quilty Bear ruler from Quilty Bear, it's ten pounds, right? Uh, we haven't looked up those two, but I'm imagining it'd be a tenner, a tenner, and a, oh, tenner, tenner, tenner. Uh, but not no. You get the whole lot for nineteen ninety nine. Fantastic beginners kit. Say that again. Oh, I've got the so easy version of what I've got here, just to show you. It's, it's not a direct um, comparison. Same size, different company. Was $35.99, and they've got it in the sale for $28.79. You can buy it from this one, from me today. It's, uh, it's um, not Hungry Bear, Quilted Bear. <laughs> Quilted Bear. Uh, Hannah's a Hungry Bear, she says. Uh, ours is, that, take that one away. Ours is 19 99 Brilliant. Make sure you check out on that. Hundreds of you coming in for that. Well, George has seen, sorry I'm late. I've been doing a bit of gardening. Oh, okay. That's right, Georgina. You do your garden. See, I'm just sitting here presenting my heart out to the nation at 19 99 Right, Wendy Orlando's up after the break. What's she making? I can't remember. Oh, I know the belt. <laughs> no, you mean 570, eh? You know, not the machine that Catherine was using and not the machine that um, Wendy's about to use, but with, you know the 570A, right? There's one left. There's only one left. It's got the alphabet. It's 570A. If you want to watch yesterday's show at 12 o'clock, I did do a whole demonstration on it. Yesterday at 599 pounds. You can on split pay at three payments of 199.66. But if you already bought something today, your P&P is covered. Come direct from Elna with a two year warranty. It's ready to be shipped to you. It is sitting in the warehouse in Stockport right now. It has got your name on it. Right, I'm going for a quick break. After break, we're gonna make the tool belt. We'll see you in three from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps, and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. I wish I could hear a piano playing then. Anyway, uh, now, uh, do, have you ever wondered when you work at, where, where's my phone, where's my paintbrush, where's my this, where's my that? You need one of these. <laughs> you need one of these. It's a Crafty Co's Autumn Days April Tool Roll Kit Instructions and Fabric Panel. I've got three different colourways. That's my first one. So what you get in this is you get the instructions by Wendy Orlando. And then you get this panel, right? This panel. Hang on. I'll be with you in a minute. Look. Look at this. You get this huge panel. Plus the instructions. Basically, it's four huge fat quarters, isn't it? But they're bigger. They're massive fat quarters, aren't they? So that's your first one, that's your uh, Autumn Days, that one's called Autumn Days, and that will make this one that Wendy's, uh, actually, oh, Wendy was wearing it, she's not wearing it anymore, it's on the table now. There it is, that's that one. Beautiful, now those panels are exclusive to Sewing Street, you can't get them anywhere else at all. And there's his rolled up as a tool roll. Right, you hope. Right, now, there's this one as well, which I've got on the desk here. I'll just unravel it for you. This one's called Staffordshire. Uh, the picture is like of the first one with the dot on it on the website. But if you click on more details, you'll see the fabric. There's the bar's yellow. Beautiful. So that one, there's, that's what it looks like on the website. So that's the panel you get there. This is the Staffordshire panel. Look, there you go. Oops. There's the Staffordshire panel. I'm here. One day, one day I'm going to do that. And it'll drop down and be Neil and it will all have been a dream. Oh, you have to have watched Dallas to know what that means. That's what I mean. Hannah's just gone, uh, 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 like that, uh, uh, what are you talking about, John? What are you talking, what are you saying? Okay. So that's that one. That's that one. Again, totally and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street because it's a Wendy Orlando pattern and the panel is one of our exclusive designs. And then the third one that Wendy's going to um, demonstrate is this one. 
Graphics coming out. Graphics coming in. What's this one called? Spring. I remember this being called Japanese at one point because didn't didn't um. Oh, what's that woman called? Delphine Roche Gordon. Delphine, what's it? She made a skirt out of this, didn't she? Spring Japanese, it is. Oh yeah, we, we've we've missed off Japanese now. So look, lovely. This is my favourite. This is my favourite. I love a lotus flower. I have got a story that I could tell you about a lotus flower, but I can't tell it on telly. Yes. Plus the instructions, twenty three ninety nine. Again, exclusive to Sewing Street. Oh, was that you? Was it me? I thought I'd not not thought you not something over then. Right, yo, I'll fold that up properly in a minute with the instructions, twenty three ninety nine. Now, if you'd like the instructions on their own, oh, you have to be very fast because they're flying out. Um, do you just need four fat quarters? Oh, hang on. Oh, or you can make it out of a design roll, jelly roll. You need nine 26 inch, two and a half. Oh, no, don't make it out of a jelly roll. Because you need, oh, well, it's there. Nine 26. Oh, anyway, you need to. Uh, can you make it out of four fat quarters? This is four fat quarters, isn't it? Four big fat quarters, four big fat quarters. The pat that's just the pattern on its own. But be quick, because that's about to sell out. Okay, now, you might need some H640 to go inside. I'll leave it in the bag, I'm not taking it out. Has Hannah got over the shock Holby news yet? No, Sue, she's, she signed the petition, she's still not over it, and she said when she goes home, that's the first conversation she has with her mum and dad about what's happened in Holby. And Kush, I don't know what she's gonna do about Kush. Kush did you know, when did you say it? Holby City's been canceled, mm. right? Now. And it's Hannah's favourite, fa she lives her life, she knows what day of the week it is, because when Holby's on, she knows where she is in the week, right? It's her favourite show, she's learnt all her medical terms from it, right? But her favourite actor ever was Cush from EastEnders, mm -hmm. right? And because my friend Bonnie played his mum, I got Cush to do a, to my fiance Hannah picture for her. She he moved from EastEnders to be in Holby City, so she was made up that her favourite actor was going to be in her favourite series. He's given up that job to go to that one, it's, and it's closing oh, no. down. I'd be so upset. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, no, you can't, Hannah. You now have a boyfriend. You cannot be comforting other young men. Nine ninety. <laughs> she says, "No, I can." Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Right now, if you don't want to use eight six forty and you want to use your own wadding, you'll need some of this. But also, we mentioned this in Catherine's ad because she used some to make her her quilt sandwich, didn't she? 505 spray seven ninety nine. Now, whenever I show you this, people multi buy. Go wild in the aisles, as our Dale would say. God rest his soul. Seven ninety nine. I like the fact that my brothers never got over this, right? When they brought in a new Bentley a few years ago, I'm going back a few years ago now, my brother, the surgeon, who's, you know, he'd ordered, he was at like second in the queue to get one behind David Beckham, right? And then they phoned him up and they said, oh, sorry, you're now third in the queue. And he was like, why? Who's knocked me off the second? Dale Winton wanted one. <laughs> Anyway, five uh, seven ninety nine for your five oh five spray. I still love. We used to drive all round Oxford Street and all round Soho and everything with the top down on the Bentley, like this, smoking away in his car. Like, hello boys. He'd say, hello boys. All right, John. Like that. Seven ninety nine. We used to get conf when we were younger. We used to get um, people think he was me and I was him. Seven ninety nine. Right. Shall we go on with some sewing? I've got nothing else to show, have I? They, I just so you know, the pattern on its own is about to sell out, so you've got to be careful there. Right, Wendy, off you go. What are you looking like that for? Well, the, the, pattern, the, the pattern so nearly sold out already. That's, we didn't have many. You did. <laughs> <laughs> You're very cheeky today. Yeah. Um, so I've got my roll rolled. Yeah. Because. Um, Don't mention the word rolled, Hannah. She'll try to eat it. Oh. I haven't had my breakfast yet. Yeah. I've had a little bit of chocolate, so I'll be pinging. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to show everyone what it was like as a roll, because um, if you're anything like me, I like to use something that's useful, but then I like to be able to put it away and stack it away somewhere. So this is it rolled up, uh -huh. and then we just unroll it. And then, so you can use it as a tool roll if you want. 
Um, and if I, I suggest that if you do do that, then you place these down the centre. Oh, yeah, if you're just using it if as a If you want roll, to use yeah. it just for a tall roll and nothing else. Mm -hmm. But all the dimensions will be in there. Um, yeah, just where when it tells you to put this in a certain place, just make sure that it's, it's down in the centre. Yeah. Um, and then what you do, all you do is flip that back bit and then it turns in to an apron. And then you put it around you as an apron. Mm -hmm. Now it is, I don't know Snug. if it's- Snug, oh no. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to that's what that word you were looking for. <laughs> you are very cheeky today. I don't know what size it would be for, but it, it kind of goes around here Well, it doesn't me, matter. But it doesn't, does it? And matter. also, if you make one and find that you want a bigger one, you can just add a little bit on. Mm. Um, I wouldn't add the Bargello on. I would just make a little border yeah. rather than worrying about adding that on. What I would just like to say, though, is the amount of fabric. They are fat quarters, but they're massive yeah, fat yeah, quarters. Because yeah, yeah. um, a fat quarter, when you said that the reason I've actually put in the instructions what you need is that you need a fat quarter. Is it 18 by 22 a standard Well, it's whatever one? the width of the fabric is. So you think of Alistair, his fat quarters are from 60 inch wide fabric, so massive. they're massive. Like that, yeah. So if it was a 60 inch wide and you had a fat quarter, yeah. you'd definitely be able to, because you need 26 inches. Oh, so inches. a regular fat quarter So a would regular, be too short. Of, yeah, would be too short, but yeah. it doesn't doesn't matter you either make a smaller one mm -hmm. or you join them together yeah but if you've got a meter of fabric any fabric uh, scraps that you've got stash, laying yeah. about then you can that's why I've specifically put what you need rather than the quarters Brilliant. but I have got all this left over from if you one. bought the panel if you bought if the you panels, bought the panel yeah. from the panel Oh, so you've got enough to build borders and things if you want to make it bigger. Absolutely, if you want to make it bigger. Mm -hmm. Or what I did think is, with this one, I thought, well, can I get two out of it? And you would be able to get two Bargello panels, so you'd be able to get the panel. All that you would need for the second one is the backing. Okay. And then you'd be able to make two out of them. If you've just got some odd scraps, then just mm -hmm. make two. Or what I did think, even further than that, because this is how my brain thinks, um, if you cut this in half, because you'll see on the apron, the inside, you only see this bit here. Oh, okay. So if you were to cut this in half and then add a plain bit on the bottom, mm -hmm. that's hidden inside the pocket and you'd never see it. Yeah. So you, there are ways, if you've just got a little bit in your stash, you could easily make two out okay, of them. Okay, perfect. Brilliant. So let's get started then. So the instructions um, are, I've tried to make them as comprehensive as I can because um, Bargello, there's nothing tricky about um, Bargello. All you're simply doing is sewing strips together, cutting them apart and sewing them back together again. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Now the first thing, and you've got the, um, I thought this was my favourite, but I love the dog one. Oh yeah, I the Staffordshire one. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. So all you need to do is cut out your strips now I have already cut these to size and it is a good idea. Well, I suppose that you could just cut them the width of the panel mm -hmm. um, but what you want to make sure is that they are the same size because if one's longer than the other you might not get the exact yeah. bit. Uh, when she's using the spring one, the one she's cutting out of the spring one and it is the most popular of the three. I love it. It's just so fresh, isn't it? And then all we do is I've cut three of each design but again I, I suppose you could do it, you could do it how you want. There are nine, so three works really well. Uh -huh. And I'm just laying them out in order. Now, what I'm doing, um, on the pattern, you'll see that I've labelled them A, B and C, and then I've shown you in the pattern how to lay them yeah. out. And you do... I mean, if you're using fabric from home, you could just use nine different colours. Definitely. That would look really nice. Mm -hmm. You will get a rainbow effect. Remember the rainbow I made for the windows? I did a sew along on my YouTube, uh, my Facebook Live on Sunday where we made a rainbow bargello for the windows for when we put them in the, for the N NHS. And we all put, wind, rather than putting a paper flag, we put it a It looks so pretty, quilt, doesn't yeah. it? And then obviously the one that is the, the last one will then tie up with the one in the first one. So you get that colour. Yeah. I just think it's beautiful. So then all you would do is just lay them out. So I'm laying um, them in three different designs. And then that one, that one, and that one. Now, you do need to have them, if they're directional, which this one, it, well, all of these. Uh, maybe not the green one. Right. I don't think there's anything that would matter. No, um, uh, 
No. I think they may be, the flowers may be directional, but it doesn't matter if you No, if they're you have so small down. you wouldn't they know. They are, you wouldn't yeah. really notice. Um, but with these ones and the, is it a tea, is it a tea party one or whatever that's called? The Staffordshire Pottery one. That's the one. Um, that is directional. So just make sure you've got all your fabrics going the same direction across. Right. And then you're just going to sew these all together. Now, if you were doing it, would you still do two, 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 yep. and two? You would. You see, yep. I just do all of them. All of them. But I, I sew one way and then I sew the other yeah. and then to stop them bending. But I know that you've said in the past, haven't you, that two. Well, well yeah, only because mm. uh, Jane Alcock taught me how to make a barge mm. and that's what she does. She yeah. always sews two, 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 yeah. two, two. Yeah. But this is again that that's for like absolutely massive. You probably I did the same on, I did do. the same on my rainbow as well, but just uh, only because that's the only way yeah. I thought. James told me to do it like this. I'll do it like so this. So all I'm going to do is so the the first one to the second, and then just add and okay. add and add. So I'm doing right sides together, and then I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch seam, and it is a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay. And again. I do keep going on, don't I? But I best press them. Even though they are a really, really lovely weight of, of fabric, these ones, aren't uh -huh. they? They're a little bit thicker than your average cotton. They're lovely. So I don't personally, because I'm going to be subcutting these afterwards, I personally don't pin. But again, if you're new and you want to pin, absolutely do so. I'm just going a little way and then stopping just to check I'm in line. There, so she's still got her Bargello rainbow up. Not sure Ooh. what to do with it. Make a cushion outfit. Absolutely, that'd be lovely. Sharon thinks we're very funny. You're very, you're very funny. We, Sorry, you're you, very, we. You're very funny. No, we, you two, are funny. Oh yeah, she's missed off looking. <laughs> <laughs> That's Elliot. I did that. I can't take credit for that. Who one. said that, Elliot? Yeah. That he was quick. That he was sharp. He's, he's on been waiting. form. That he's had that. That's the only one he's got. So he has to wait for the, for the right moment. See, I'm using my cutter now because I don't need to go quite so fast. Oh, now you're going to be pleased about this. Look what's just arrived. Best press. Lavender the best press. Back in stock. Not lots of it, but it's there. Always sells out because Wendy normally buys it all. I, I say I'm that sorry, all the time. It's always but you that buys it. I know. It all. I know you. But the lavender one, it just sends a waft mm. everywhere. And it's my dad's favourite flower. It's so lavender it's and vanilla. Um, and also, she can't buy it while she's on air. So you get it now before she gets in there in a break. Let's go. Um, so I've gone one way, so now I'm going to be sewing the other way. And this would just stop the banana effect. It mm -hmm. stops it stretching. But you don't want to be stretching the fabric. You just want to lay it naturally and just let it go through the machine. I'm not going to do them all because I've already done them. Okay. So... I don't want, I don't think you want to be sitting just watching me go up and down. No. But this is, this fabric is gorgeous. Yes, yeah, it is lovely. Beautiful. Right, so you would just carry on joining them all the way down so I've, uh -huh. I've threw one on the floor there so you just join the next to the next to the next now I have purposely this time not put an overall size for this to be afterwards um, because I know in the past if people don't get it quite the same as me it doesn't matter it, it the because you cut the back afterwards then you cut it to the size yeah, okay. so that's all that you would do and then what you do when you've done that is you just, again, press, always press it because you're going to get it nice and flat. And a top tip is if you, when you turn it over, and I'll show you on the one, the panel, I did put it somewhere, or oh, put it safe. I'll show you on this one. I just by accident found this out, is that when I've ironed this, I've ironed these, every other one, I've ironed the seams over to the, the one before, um, instead of going all one way or all the other, because when I subcut it, they nest, which, which I thought was genius. Mm -hmm. So if you want yours to nest, then just every other one, just press open like that. Um, and then make sure you press the front as well, because sometimes, and I am going to press it because I did this at home and now I've creased it again. You want to make sure this is as flat as it can possibly be. Yeah. Because we're now going to be cutting it and then sewing it back together. They do look beautiful together, don't they? Don't they? 
And you can choose whichever one you want. You get four of them, so one of them will be the middle. Now, because there were two of this fabric, I selected one for the outside and then the other. This one is pink and that one's white background. Yeah. Um, but you could have them anywhere you want. If you are um, using your own fabrics at home, as I said, just, just be careful that the one that is last in the row will marry up with the one that is first in the row. So if yes, you want so to don't have them. first and last the same colour. No, because you'll get a, a big block of colour. Yeah. Which, if that's the effect you're after, it doesn't matter, does it? So you will be left with this. When you've finished, you've sewn them all together, and then you're going to have a nice piece of fabric. And um, see, I, I love using jelly rolls because you can create wonderful fabrics, can't you? And I do need my long one for this one. Now, the next thing what you want to do is when you've got this, you'll see that my edges aren't square. So we just want to square one of the edges. Now, I'm a lefty, so it's just easier for me to square this one off. Yeah. It doesn't matter which one you do, but the next step is very important. Um, and again, it's, it's personal, but I like to square it up by just checking that these lines here go along one of the lines on the rulers. A little bit more. I don't necessarily always go at the bottom. No. And then I'm just going to square it off. Now, this is the important part. Whatever one you've squared off, that's the end you're going to start sewing from. The one that I haven't squared off, if I marry those two together and start sewing, this might be a bit wonky at the top. So I'm going to then fold it right sides together so that the last one, this one down here, then goes right side together with this one at that edge. So that's a really nice straight edge. And now I know when I start sewing, this bit here is going to be nice and straight. And it's not going to be twisted. Uh -huh. Now, in this instant, I would just put a pin in there just to make sure, pin or a clip, just to make sure that they stay together. So it doesn't matter if you've cut the right side off, whichever side you've cut, but just make sure when you put the two together that this corner matches exactly. I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch down here. Uh, along, sorry, along this edge. Mm -hmm. Long edge. Long edge. You're making a tube, basically. I am making a big tube. These look very effective, though. You could make things like pillowcases with these, couldn't you, if you would make um, lots and lots of them together. Right. You're very busy today, John. You've got two of us today I to know. handle, haven't you? Yeah. You're going to have to go and have a lie down in a dark room later. I've got tomorrow. Oh, that's. It's very exciting to hear Vic's coming back, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, Vic's back tomorrow. Yeah. That's just scary, though, because then that just makes you realise how long ago she actually had baby. Eight weeks. Oh, it's just scary. Eight weeks ago. Scary, scary, scary. Where has that time gone? So now you've got your tube. So you can see that we've got a little tube. Well, it's a long tube. Mm -hmm. So we've sewn them together. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to cut this up. Because with Bargello, oh, and I've got it on, so you've got the one that, um, <laughs> sorry, I've actually got the one on. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah there he is. There. there he is. If you can see with the one that uh, John's got, is that you, we're now going to cut it all apart and then sew it back together to create, that's it, to create this effect. Mm -hmm. Now, I've, in the pattern, in the instructions, actually told you which ones to put where, but I guess, again, it's up to you. Once you've, once you've actually made your tube and cut it up, you can do... Okay. Oh, what, what worked? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. You've carry got on, that carry screwed on, face on. up again, haven't you? You've got that screwed up face. That's just what the one face I was born with. <laughs> You're something's perplexing you. Would you do it? Dif you'd do it different, wouldn't you? <laughs> um, no, you carry on. You carry on. I'm going to see now. Oh, are you? Because the only bar the bar jellies I've got, the mm. colours go yep. like that. You know what I mean? They yes. kind of make a shape. So it's and that's a how different my bar I've made a bar jello bag. Right. Uh, and that's what I did with my bag. Right. But life's boring if you keep doing the same thing, isn't it? Okay. So I've just changed it up a little bit. But is it still called a Bargello when it doesn't do it that? It is with me, yes. Oh, OK. Yes. Possibly not, no. <laughs> OK, I should have put Bargello effect, shouldn't yeah. I? Yeah. Oh, sorry. 
There's no room for it, though. Is I won't do it again, will I? <laughs> And then all I'm going to do... Well, no, I'm just intrigued how you're going to do it now because I thought it automatically made that, that shape when you did it. But It's all about where you place the strips before you cut the top. And you'll see what I mean in a okay. moment. So again, I'm just going to make sure, because I do like everything really neat at the end, I'm just going to... Oh, it's, it's pretty okay, but I'm just going to square that end off. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, because as I say, because I am left-handed, I'll cut from this side. Yep. I'm just going to, and this is really important that you don't just, so it's in there somewhere, that you do this when it's cold, because if you're using a friction pen, it will just disappear. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to draw a line. And this is the great thing, because this disappears afters. And I know that some people have, have said that in extreme, they come back again. Um, but this is going to be on the back of the fabric. You're not going to see it anyway. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you can, you can see that, hopefully. It will give me an indication what I need to do next. Right. It will all become clear in okay. a moment. So now what I'm going to do, and as I say, it's all in the instructions. I'm now going to subcut these down. Now, you can, I've said that you cut one of this, one of this, one of this, one of this, but there are two each of four of them and one on its own. You could cut two, but I like doing them so I cut it in order, because then See, when I you do. cut it, you leave it in the right place, exactly. so it's in order already. That's what That's I do, but I have seen some people don't do that. Um, so the first one I'm going to cut, and they, they go down each time they get narrower and narrower, so I'm going to cut my first one. So how do we know what size is cut? It's all in the instructions. Okay, perfect. I mean, as I say, I have put cut one of this, one of this, mm -hmm. one of this. So you cut your first one, and then I'm going to cut the second. And these are brilliant, these rulers, because they're long enough to be able to do that, but the uh, markings are very, very clear on them. And this is what gives it the effect when you go down in the, the widths as well. I might have done three. I should, might have, should have done oh. Oh, oh, I know, I know. I thought it was three, but it doesn't matter. I should just put it on the end. But that's the beauty of this. If, if you do do it wrong, it, it doesn't really matter. It's not wrong, is it? No. Um, right. Great in the gym. <laughs> I, I just found it. I was just reading it. You found thing. it, yes. I think I started with the, the wrong side. Three and yes, a half, I three, did. two and a half, two. Yes, yes. I should have done that one first. So I'm going to do it now. No one look. No one, look, you didn't see that, did you? So that one needs to go at the front. Three and okay. a half, three, two and a half, two. That's what I was looking for. But it's it's never really a mistake. Well, you'll be No, if you do do that, you just have to make sure the next time you go, you have to do the same ones yes. again. Don't go yes. back to putting a different size in. Definitely. There we go. One and a half. And you, you have, I always, always give you a little bit extra because I don't like you getting to the end and then finding that you haven't got enough. Yeah. So I always give you a little bit extra. And the neater you can be here, the better, because remember, we're going to be sewing these back together again. That's it, and then just the last one. So you can see here, I have given you a few inches just in case, because I know that when you need to square it off, um, you might not have quite as much as me. So okay. now, there we go. We have cut them all in their vertical strips and they start and get narrower, they get to the beginning and then they go back out wider. Now, we now need to pay attention to the, the lines that I've marked. And you'll see in there, and I like to put these out of the way, so one, three, five, seven and nine. And this is why this is amazing for beginners, because you don't have to do too much to it. You just forget about. Right. They stay where they are. You don't do anything with those. Oh, uh, well, see, so when I do a Bargello... Oh, no, you carry on, you carry on. You no, carry that's on. exactly what I would do. Yeah. Th th it, it's, it's how you then change the order of the vertical strips. So for I would do exactly what you would do. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'll explain in a minute what yes. I'm talking about, in case you don't know what I'm talking but about. But for you this carry one, on this is I wanted to make it really simple. Yeah. Um, so one, three, five, seven, and nine stay the same. Yeah. Two, four, six, and eight. You simply move that line down once. Right. So you've got your line, and we're going to move it down once. Okay. 
Now that's all I've done to create that pattern. And of course, it does make a difference. And then what I would normally do is move that one down to number three. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. So that's how you would normally do Get it. And your then rainbow and, and definitely. your W um, effect, yeah. With something like this, because it is uh, the way the patterns are, it's not going to really matter. But definitely, it, the, the way that you do it, to get that colour to go down and then back up and down, you would need to then yeah, stagger them. Yeah, and then you just unpick the next one, unpick the next one, unpick exactly. the next one. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but for this one, one, three, five, seven, and 9 stay the same, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, you just move that line down uh -huh. in one section. Now comes the fun part. Right. So it is in here. Or well, maybe it's not. I did put it in here. There he is. So I've got my shaver out. And... I keep missing those as well. What? The 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 one. The electric six remover. Yeah. They're in stock. Are they back? They're in stock. Oh, see, I'm going straight there to get my best press yeah. and this afterwards. Um, I don't know if I've got one out here. There's some, one in here. So you carry on. You yeah. carry on. Um, and then all you want to do now is now that you've got them in their order, keep them in their order. But we're just going to unpick this top seam on all of them. Now I like to unpick them and then put them back down where exactly as they are, still keep them folded for the moment. So I'm just using this and then I leave it where it is. Then I go on to the next one. Have you found it? <laughs> And then I leave it where it is. And these are very, very handy. Okay. We've only got one in stock, so oh, I'm not going to oh, give you one. Someone's going to beat me to it, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, they will. Now, you don't have to have one of these. You can do it. You can with do a it quick with, a, with an unquick unpick, yes. But these, these do not. Um, harm the fabric in any way and I tend to find that with the quick unpick I don't concentrate as much as I should and then I've got a hole in it so with these ones you don't get that. Oh Susie Duncan's just got up half past ten and <laughs> there, there's her telling us right oh I'm up at 5 30 every morning in my work room <laughs> she's just got up. Just got up I'm sure she hasn't she, what she probably means is she's just got up from the settee to make a cup of tea probably enough hours. Oh. There we go. And then the last one. So it really is quick and easy with this one. There we go. So when you've unpicked those... And the stitch remover that the graphics are in for is not the one that Wendy was using, just so you know. The one that, that you've got is much better because the, the blade, the, not the blades, I don't know what they're called. The little, the, the, yes, the they teeth, are blades. The teeth, the, oh, the teeth and blades yeah. are more concentrated to the actual stitch area. Yeah. So it, it's much, much mm -hmm. better for you to use those. But, but there is only one left. Every time, I, well, someone's going to beat me to it. Yeah. Now, I've unpicked all the tops of all the strips. Right. And now you just take the top one and open it. So leave them where they are, but just take the top layer and then open it out and you've now created the my my effect but to your to what you were saying um, yes if you did need to if you I mean when my, someone's made one and then understands how it works they can make their own design. oh yeah yeah Absolutely totally fine. or if they know how to make a Bargello if they've made a Bargello before they can just do that of course she's been on a 10 kilometer dog walk actually. see I knew she wouldn't have only just got she's probably just got up out of a chair yeah. um, now you will notice and it doesn't matter at this moment in time they're all upside down but that's just the way that yeah, yeah, opened them up. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter if yours are like that. The as long as they're all the same exactly. way. Exactly. The most important thing is, is that they are all the same way and you keep them in this order. So all we're going to do now is so this one to this one, add on that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. And that's all we're going to do. Right. Okay. So I'm going to start from this end. Now, because I have ironed the way that I ironed that I showed, all my seams have nested. So the back fabric is going that way on one piece and that way on the other. And then I can just nest them in together. Now, I do suggest, because, oh gosh, it's that time already. I do suggest at home that you pin these. Yeah, I do. Do not do what I'm just about to do now. Um, make sure you pin them along all the nestings. 
Um, but because for time, I'm just going to... Um, right, well, while you're stitching that, because you're just yeah. stitching a straight line, I am, I've that's just all got I'm to doing. recap the bundles. Right, spring, the one that we're working with, is here. So you get the instructions and you get the panel, which is exclusive to Sewing Street. The most popular today, twenty three ninety nine. So you get the panel and you get the uh, and you get the instructions. I'll just open up the panel for you so you see how big it is. Look, there you go. There's the panel. Still me. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah's very disappointed. It's still me. She said it's fine. It's her birthday at the beginning of July. And so she'll have a birthday wish. One will be to get me to disappear. It's fine. It's my birthday first, she forgets, you see. So if you're not here, you can't wish me away, can you? 23.99, you get the panel, you get the instructions. I've gone past a seam and then just checking that my next seam is in line. So it's it's not the machine just playing silly people. It's me today. I'm just making sure they're nested. Right, next one. Autumn days, the one that Wendy's wearing. Oh, we've got a picture of it actually. They, oh no, this is the bun, the panel, and the instructions. And that one will make you. What are you saying? Well, she might not still be here by the time we come to her birthday. Twenty-three ninety-nine. <laughs> Apparently, Hannah's going to present on her birthday show, July the eighth. Oh no, you're not in on July the eighth. Not in the birthday, are you? Oh, she is. Is she going to be presenting on her birthday with me? And I'll produce. No, Elliot can produce now because he's just they've just been producing. Anyway, anyway, shush, Hayley, we're trying to... Just, they tell me off for wandering off subject. Then Hannah, and then Hayley comes in, my boss, right, and starts going, tell them, tell them we're having a birthday Hannah show. Hannah didn't know. And I know she's going to have to save up for a new frock and everything. And maybe she'll do an hour on her birthday rather than all five hours, because it's like, she'll cry if she'll do all five hours. Anyway, so you get this and this, 23 99 it's so funny, right, okay, I'll just tell you this very quickly. Hannah just said, I wouldn't be able to do five hours without saying a naughty word, right? Kat just said in the middle of the show yesterday, what would happen, John, if you just swore in the middle, like that? And I was like, that's my worst nightmare, and you're just making me relive it. And Hannah's just saying exactly the same thing now. Right, moving on then to the Staffordshire one, which is this one, which will make you this one. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. There you go. Twenty three ninety nine. So you get the panel exclusive to us and the instructions. Twenty three pounds and ninety nine pence. What day is it, Hannah? We'll just check. It might not be on the actual day of her birthday because she might be off of them. Oh, it's already in the master schedule. So what day of the week is it? Oh, won't be me. Be Wendy. Be Wendy. £23.99. £23.99. £23 right, uh, shall I, have you, are you still saying, yeah, let me just do the uh, H. Oh, no, these have gone, have they, on their own? Oh, there are eight left. Eight of these left on their own. £9.99. That's the instructions on its own. Chicka chicka, boom boom. Got your own fabric. Hannah presenting, how exciting, says Sue. No, that's not your mum. That's Sue. Okay, H640, which we haven't got to yet. Fusible fleece, one metre. Now, if you multi buy, they come like this. If you order 10, you'll get 10 of these. What? I'm a board of what? I 
I thought they were saying are you bored? He was saying push it, push it forward. Oh no, that's not his accent, is it? I suddenly made him Lancashire then. Push it forward, lad. Well, that's Yorkshire anyway, isn't it? Anyway, here we go. 505 spray. Should we test, test to see how level the desk is? <laughs> no wonder. Anyway, 7.99. Repositional fabric to fabric. It's what? Go back to Wendy. She's still sewing. <laughs> Come on, Wendy, hurry up. You've only got a few minutes. Oh. Uh -huh. No. Oh. So we're, we're now nearly where are you there. Now? Are I'm you nearly there. Yeah. You've got two more strips to sew. So you just yes. literally sewing just all the strips sewing together. Just sewing all the strips together. And again, you must make sure that you keep them in the order from wider to narrower, back up to wider. Yeah. And as I say, don't do what I'm doing. I'm literally just nesting them as I go. So just take the time here. All the just best people have their birthday in July, says Leslie. Mine's the oh. 9th. Ooh. Leslie said, it's not July though, is it? Next week, Elliot. <laughs> Leslie said, how are your glasses today? Emma, fix them for me. Emma, fix them. They're brilliant. Yesterday, my glasses fell off the table. Picked them up and one arm was going <gasps> like that. And I kept putting them on, they were like this. <laughs> anyway, she came back from the break and she went, oh, this, this is for night glasses. She fixed it. Look. She's They're filthy, but she fixed it. You can call me Mummy Sue Hannah. Hang on. Oh. You can call me Mummy. Mummy Sue. Mummy Sue yeah. Hannah. Lifeguards and gym instructions where my daughters work call me that. Aww. What's that got to do with anything we were just talking about? She will, she will, mummy no, Sue. No, because you said when something nice, someone said not something nice to Hannah, you thought it was her mum saying it. Oh, no, no, mm. oh, I see. Yeah, well done. Yeah. My brain doesn't, uh, once I've said no, it, it's No, it's just gone. old, John. Old, oh, yeah, I'm old. <laughs> One thing, though, I'll never be as old as you. <laughs> 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 That's not nice. <laughs> Damn, I'm horrible. just on the last one now. So you can see that I've actually romped through it quite quickly. Please don't go as quick as this. Can have um, a guess how old Elliot is this year? Wow. Oh, no, don't say 40. He's not 40. Mm. See, I don't want to upset him. You will. Whatever you say will upset him. But I think it's probably, is it a special birthday this yeah. year? Yeah. I think he's 30 this year. Um, have I upset him? Have I upset him? No, he him? is 30 this year. Yeah. What, how how can you think he's 30 looking like that? He looks, he doesn't. Also, that's half our age. <laughs> that's what's more frightening. <laughs> that's the scary, scary thing. Do you think he looks older? He acts older. He's very mature, isn't no, he? he? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot? Yeah, I think he is. I Mind the machine. I think if you break it, you buy it. Um, that's why. <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's not mature. Not think, I think he's he's very... more mature than he was when I first met him. I oh, he's... we hated him at Roxon Co. Oh. How can you s <laughs> hate is such Hate's a, a horrible yeah, word. You I would never, never use that, use that, that word. I never use that word. Never use that well, word. You just no. did. No, I didn't mean it. I meant well, it in a shouldn't... jovial way. No, he's, he's lovely. Oh, he was a nightmare. He wouldn't. Do... Elliot, do this. No. Elliot, bring the next ring on. No. Really? Elliot, where's the next? Because at those days, we had a floor man who used to bring things to the desk. All the time, and he was never on time. He was always late. Oh, he's not now. He's like always here, well before I am. Well, he has to be, doesn't he? Because he starts before. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, yes, he's the, like the caretaker has to hoover and everything before we get here. Yeah, I know that. He's very. Stop it. But no, do you, I can't believe that you think he looks. Do you think he looks older or younger than? 30? Oh no, I'm only messing. He's. Do you know? Like, do you think he looks older or younger? No, he doesn't look older. That beard makes him look older. You know. At, Distinguished. When, when he was at school, he was a heartthrob at school because he was he? in the rugby team. Yeah. No, now that surprises me. <laughs> Anna said it was... <laughs> I can't even say <laughs> no, that. No, that surprises me. I can't even say that, Anna. I thought he'd play a footballer rather than no. rugby. Um, he was in the rugby team, so he was a heartthrob. And apparently, I, I learnt this week when he wasn't here that he was in the swimming team as well. Oh, so he's fit. Yeah. Well, it was. Sorry, he was, he was fit. He's 30 okay, now, sorry. remember, he left school at 16. 
Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that seems forever ago, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, to me, not, not to Elliot, yeah. to me that seems like... What, being at school? Yeah. But I can remember my first day. So can 1971, I. 1971, remember the smell of my new satchel. I can remember sitting mm. in the car with my dad, literally waiting to see somebody. You know, at this grammar school I'm talking about in 1971. Yeah. And like kind of waiting to see one of my friends turn up so I didn't have to walk into this great big frightening red brick school on my own sort of thing Whoa. and the satchel was nearly as big as I was and my mum had put gold initials on it so no, you know so everyone knew it was my satchel gold anyway, initials you yeah. see you had starred them at that young not learning. gold as in <laughs> gold gold just gold coloured right. anyway come on let's get on right the next so I've now given it a jolly good press yep and let's have a look at it from upstairs there you go brilliant okay then what do you do now? and then then we're going to put some wadding on it right. now you did state yeah that um if you don't use i absolutely adore h640 yeah but if you don't use it if you do have your own wadding then you can um use your fiber 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 spray. yes so all i'm going to do is place it on right now Remember i haven't that's got a brand new mat is there not a brand new mat no don't, don't give it. me a brand new mat no thank you Sorry. Uh, that's one thing Elliot does get upset about when the mat gets. Oh, I don't want to upset Elliot. I wouldn't want to upset him. He's such a nice man. I don't want to upset him. Right, there we go. So I won't. Don't you pull that face at me. I pulled it back down. He's a lovely man. I'm just thinking, you're, you know, is there other two Elliots that work here? <laughs> <laughs> here? I love him, really. It's all banter. Please don't think I'm being awful. Oh, yes, awful. please don't. But he gives as good as he gets down here. He can he can worse, get me when I'm worse. when I'm in mm. shot. Mm. He can say the most outrageous things down my ear, and I have to just carry on like this, nodding and talking and everything. So please, 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 we do get on. It's not I'm not being horrible about him whatsoever. It's a love love relationship. He loves me more than I love him. <gasps> but he's got the most gorgeous girlfriend, Amy. Oh, she's adorable. I've not she, met Amy. Oh, she's adorable. She's so lovely. He is a toy boy. Is he, he is a toy is boy. He? I'm not saying how old Amy is, but she's got a big birthday coming up as well. Oh, so well. If oh, well, they don't need to say any more. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's lovely. I used to work with her at Rocks ago. She's really lovely. Oh, you don't need to say any more. She if she's got a big one and he's got a big one coming up, then yeah. Um, Are we having a party? No. Right. So I've adhered oh. that to that. He's having a I've, pub crawl, eh? Oh no, no, no. So he's just let, no. let himself down now. Pub crawl. But then that's his age, you see. It is see, his age. See, I, I, not um, the iron wasn't as hot. I think I must have turned it off. So you need to adhere that to that. Now, with your one yep. that you've got on your desk, I've quilted it and quilted and quilted it. Well, you've put, you've done um, a uh, fancy stitching, yes. Blanket stitch. Is I've, it? I've. I'm in, so in love with this machine yeah. that I just like playing and I love that stitch. That's my new favourite stitch at the moment. Okay. So while you're just admiring my stitches, I'm just cutting round the edge. Okay, let's admire our stitches, everyone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just cutting round the edge. As I say, take please take more time than I do and make sure that you actually... Yeah, and cut your threads and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I should know, shouldn't I, when I'm with you? Yes. Yes, I should, shouldn't I? I do set myself up for a fall with you sometimes. No. Yes, I do, because you will find it, won't you? No. Yes, you will. Now, I, as I say, I specifically, specifically right. have not said what your size should be, because whatever size that you are finished with is the right size, okay. because you cut the backing to the to size that, of this, yeah. you do, yes. But please, as I say, take the time. I think I must have turned the iron off because it wasn't sticking the H640 okay. to it. And there we go. Can't make a mess, can we? Because I've got Catherine coming after. She'll tell me off, won't she? Right. <gasps> Oh, I've got some exciting news to tell you. Oh, what? Now, it's nothing to do with sewing, oh. and I hope you don't mind me interrupting. I hope Hannah doesn't mind me telling this story. Where Hannah lives, right, yeah. in the olden days, there used to be like a music venue, what big, you, posh. What, what are you calling olden days? In the 60s, 60s, 70s, right? Yeah. Well, I know, I, but, you know, it's gone now. It's, it's, the building's gone now. Yeah. Anyway, this week, very quickly, I'll tell the story very quickly. This week, there were, there were some of the neighbours outside. They've got a communal garden out the front, sitting outside, having a drink, chatting. And a, and a little old man and his daughter came along the road. And they said, oh, hello, are you all right? You're lost, because it's a dead end where she lives. It's a little dead end road. And they said, oh, we've just come here, because we used to come here when we were little. We used to live here. 
we used to live at, I won't say the numbers, but she used to live at this number, which is Hannah's neighbour. And then Hannah said she'd heard a rumour that there used to be a, well, she knew there was, used to be a music hall there. She said, oh, I heard a rumour that the famous people used to play at the music halls used to use one of these houses to get changed in, right? And he went, yes, they used to get changed at number... <laughs> and that's Hannah's house, right? <gasps> no now, way. when they, in the 60s, they'll have just had an outside toilet because they've all got extensions with the bathrooms on the bottom. But for some reason, both of Hannah's bedrooms upstairs have got like ensuite toilet rooms with a, a sink and everything. And they say, he said, yes, they put those sinks and toilets in upstairs so that the people get changed there. You know who got changed in Hannah's house? Only the Beatles. <gasps> The Whoa. Beatles actually got changed in Hannah's house. And then she looked at all the other people that were there. Rolling Stones, there. now she doesn't know if the Rolling Stones got changed there, but if they did, they would have used Hannah's house to get changing. Because <gasps> wow. in the row of Victorian houses, hers is the only house with both bedrooms upstairs, got an ensuite toilet and everything. So wow. she used them as the dressing room. So imagine that, the fact that the Rolling Stones and the Beatles used to get changed in Hannah's house before they went to get, before they went to get, you know, Hey How Jude. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, that complete, completely different story. But Hannah was so excited. I think it's a lovely story. That is an amazing yeah. story. So all I'm doing is I've now placed the panel, and the reason I've done it that way round, so I'm going to cut my backing fabric, uh, my lining fabric out. Yeah. But I've already put the wadding on, and that means that if it's not quite square, I can just cut it square. Okay. And the backing at the same time, it'll be the same size. Mm -hmm. I need to grow six inches, don't I? <laughs> we can get you a box. <laughs> um, so now I've got the backing fabric. Whoops. And the front. Now, if you do want to quilt it, now is the time to do it. Right, okay. Because you're going to be putting pockets on it. Yeah. Now, this is the only bit that might be a little bit confusing now because what we need to do is we need to work out the orientation, so it's the wrong way, of, that's the right way, when you fold it up as a roll, then the pockets are the right way here. Right, yeah. But on the back, it's going to be upside down. Now, it doesn't matter because it's going to be behind the apron, as you wear it as an apron, so you won't know. And when it's rolled up, you won't match it with the inside. Yeah. But to actually make it, you want it this way. Right. So I'm just looking at the time, and we're not going to get no. um, time to do that, are we? So that it, it does all explain it. I have no idea where my iron wouldn't stick that today. That um, it does explain it in here that you need to put your ties. Now I have pre-made these and uh -huh. it's just how they would do normally. You get your piece of fabric, you fold it right side, uh, wrong sides together, open it out, press to the middle on both sides and then just make a little tie mm -hmm. like that. It's all in the instructions. It's though, all it? in the instructions. Just going to get my pen out and then you mark three and a half inches down on either side. It's probably better for me to do it this way so that I can mark them both at the same time. So we've got that one and that one and then you place your tie so that it's just under that line but so the seam so the sewn seam is at the bottom yeah and then it just makes it a little bit neater so that when you tie it you've got the seam underneath mm -hmm. and then all we're going to do is i'm going to base that to the side so that it stays it's not going to move and i do that with both of them so that's the first one and then it does, it does explain all about the orientation of the fabric in the instructions. I mean, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference, yeah. but I wanted the fabric to be the right way up when you're actually wearing it as an apron. Uh, as a, yes, as an apron. Oops. There we go. So you've now got your apron ties. Mm -hmm. Now, what you need to do now is you need to place your fabrics right side together but I think you have to do it the other way. It does explain it all in there, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, I think you have to place it the other way around. So if that's that way, then that has to be that way. I might have done this the wrong way, but it is in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And then all we do is we're gonna sew all the way around the edge, but leave a little bit for turning. Now, I would suggest that you leave, this, this is going to be where the apron tie is, mm -hmm. I would leave a little bit down here for turning because then it's going to be encased in the side and you're not going to see it. Right. And then, am I going to, I'm not going to have time to go no, all no, way around. No, no, don't try to say around it. You won't get, no. I, I, my clock doesn't say what your clock says. 
No, I'm no, fast. we have to we have to I'm, do no, the round up. You I'm see, fast. You, do, you don't get you don't. Oh, you're even faster. I'm fast. I'm eleven o'clock already. I'm oh, off no, for that, my breakfast. Oh no, that's wrong. That clock sounds wrong. It is eleven o'clock already. I thought that was wrong. <laughs> so then you would like what? Spag it out. So you yep. turn it the right side out, and then you would cut your corners off. Yeah. And then as you're doing the next part, so this would be have its lining on the inside. Mm -hmm. As you're doing this next part. When you sew up the sides to create your pockets, you're then going to close up that opening gap so you yeah. don't have to do any hand sewing if you don't want Perfect. to. And then all you're going to do, so imagine that this is bagged out, yeah. you then mark where your tools are to go. So you just place your tools in yeah. and then wherever they go, then you you sew a line down. Yeah, like we suggest you don't put a rotary cutter or scissors in Do not in put there, yeah. anything sharp in there when you're well, you, wearing you it. You can when it's a tool roll, but not Absolutely, when you're wearing it. Absolutely, but please, yeah. I have put it in there. Do not yeah. put anything sharp in there when you are. Because yeah. if you sit down mm -hmm. and it's sharp, it's mm -hmm. going to hurt. So don't do that. Um, but it just so happens, and I can get a mobile phone in this one. Okay. Where that I wanted mine to be, they just so happen to fall down the lines. Now, oh, yours, well, you could yes. sort of work it, couldn't you? So yeah. you do your mobile phone down the wide I've one, got, your I've ruler got, down the wide one, your brush. I've got my little... Lovely. So, um, yeah, I, I so happened to have done that. But if they don't, it doesn't matter. No. But you could have your crochet hooks in there. Um, mm -hmm. There's lots of things you could put in there. And then when you finish with it, then you just fold it up and tie it up. Or when you want to use it as an apron, as I say, yeah. you put the flap back, just tie it around you. Elliot would have his knives and forks in there. Oh, no. For his lunch. no. In a tool belt, not what he's wearing, in a tool roll, not what he's wearing it. Oh, that's okay. Uh, now, Wendy, I know you're back in an hour's time on Yarn Lane, but when you're back in on Sewing Street? I think I'm in on the 26th, but... Of June, 26th of June? sleeps then. Round there, mm, round there. Sleeps. Anyway, so as far as Sewing Street's going, thank you very thank much you indeed. Thank you very much. But Wendy's doing Block of the Month on the blanket on Yarn Lane, so don't go in if you've never watched it before, please come over to Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock. Right, let's do a round-up then very quickly. First one. Spring, the one that we're working with, still the most popular. You get the panel, which is exclusive to Sewing Street, plus the instructions, £23.99. Beautiful, isn't that? Lotus flowers, beautiful, isn't it? That's that one. Then, Autumn, the one that uh, Wendy was wearing. Again, the panel, uh, exclusive to Sewing Street, plus the instructions, £23.99. Then I've got the Staffordshire one, which I'll show you the finished. Um, this is the fin what it looked like finished. Well, I say this is what it looked like finished, but you decide where you, uh, you see. You decide whether you want that fabric there or you want that within the Bargello pattern as well. Twenty three ninety nine. You get the panel and the instructions. Instructions. I presume they've all gone now. Have they? The instructions on their own. Okay, you can get the 505 spray and the H six forty underneath there because I just need to remind you before we go about these. Uh, this should have been our eight o'clock early bird. It didn't arrive till half past eight, so we did it at nine o'clock. It's brilliant, right? It's a special price of 19 99 You get the ruler, the ruler, the cutting mat, and the rotary cutter, all of that for 19 pounds and 99 pence. Hundreds of these have gone. It's brilliant, it's such a, if you buy this ruler on its own from Quilted Bear, that's 9 99 We didn't look up those two prices, but I bet you any money it's more than 30 pounds worth there. Special price, £19.99. The early bird special, the second early bird special of the day. All right, after the break, Catherine is up doing this lovely quilt. There you go. Now, there are two versions. I'll explain it when we come back. They're basically identical, but one of those squares is floral. In the other one, I'll show you when we come back. It'll be easier for me to explain when we come back. Catherine's obviously not going to make the whole quilt. She's going to talk about different blocks within the quilt. We will see you in three minutes from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! This is such a gorgeous quilt. Let's have a look at the picture. Ellie's taking a picture of us for us and then I'll explain. Look, isn't it lovely? It looks rich, it looks sumptuous, it looks really, really luxurious, doesn't it? Now, it's all made from the French general fabric from Moda. The finished quilt size is 162 centimetres by 208 centimetres. You get 10 printed fabrics inside here. Over six metres of fabric and you get complete instructions. Now you're most probably wondering, 
Well, why have you got two boxes then, John? But what it is, is there is one slight difference between them, right? There's one slight, slight difference. It's because we, so we could bring you more sort of thing. Um, so one of the fabrics in one of these boxes is slightly different to the one in the other. All the other fabrics are identical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Hannah. How did we show it earlier? Was it from the website? We've got a picture. We've got a picture. So I can just show you the difference. So all the fabrics are identical apart from one fabric, which is swatched from one to the other. This one here, 99.99. So watch, 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 watch. Pepe! Two payments of 49.99. No interest charge whatsoever. No interest charge whatsoever. So now in the, here you go. So here's the, that's the quilt, right? And it, it features that stripy fabric. Now you can see in the quilt, you can see it in the quilt. No, oh uh, yeah, there it is, there it is, down left hand side. Is that right? It's very subtle, you can hardly tell, right? So that fabric, instead of on the floral print, you get that one. So if you want that one, C-O-U-V-80. C-O-U-V-80, right? Okay, I'll show you then. The one that's got it is this one here. There you can see the stripes there. You see the stripes above the pinwheel, right? There one, now notice there's one floral fabric missing because if you go to the other one, the stripes have been replaced by a floral. Okay, graphics coming in, same price. Oh, now, it says it's a different size on the, on the graphics to on the box. I'll get Catherine in a minute to measure the one that's hanging on the wall. Um, and have we got the picture of the fabric that that one's got the square in the top right hand corner? Okay, we're just going to show you now. So you know the stripe fabric I showed you in the first one. If you don't want the stripe, this is... Right, look, so it has that floral in it instead of the stripe. It's so subtle. The whole piece is so subtle, right? So instead of the stripe fabric, you get that one. But it's not a major, it's not a major breaking point or anything. 98 by 148 in centimetres. Oh, okay. Maybe that's not the whole thing there then. I'm going to have to open it in a minute because we've got three different sets of measurements here. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's so instead of the stripes, instead of the stripes, you get the, um, the florals in that one. So take a note of the code OQUV73. Right, that's the floral one there. That's the floral one. Okay, we're going to keep that graphic. And actually, the floral one is the one that Catherine's actually going to be using... Is that which, that's right, yeah. Catherine's using the floral one in the demonstration. So you won't see the stripy fabric come up today. Right, okay, shall we start? We will, we will definitely confirm the, the size. Hannah's going to sort, sort that out. She's going to confirm the size of the quilt. But it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilt. Isn't it, Catherine? Absolutely gorgeous. I demoed this before and, I, and then I was really pleased that they sent it again <laughs> because it's really <laughs> lovely and it's such nice fabric. Um, I just measured that in inches as well, 38 by 58. So, okay. But it could be that they took a bit off with the... With the yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. We'll find out. We'll absolutely find out. lovely. It's not a difficult quilt to make at all. So if you're fairly new to patchwork and you want to go at something really special, this is the one. Because that's not because it looks like it's no, going to be so because complicated. because if you look, John, there's lots of just plain squares. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So actually, there's only a little bit of piecing, which just makes a really, really effective pattern. So brilliant for beginners, I think. Um, I'm going to, I've done most of my cutting. I've left one of my fabrics just to cut to show you how we're cutting it. Um, it's quite a long list of cutting. So what you need to do, there's a little key at the start. Right. That shows you which fabric is which letter. Okay, so you've so got the like, floral one in I've there. I've got the floral one. So the, with the stripy one, one of those will be different. Yeah. Um, but you've got your little key. And I actually wrote in which one was rich. Yeah. And I've literally worked my way through and I tick them off as I go. And then you make sure mm -hmm. you've got the right amount. So, you know, that's a happy afternoon, getting all your little piles all cut and Oh, I can imagine. Stacked up. Yeah. Start with uh, because in, in here, and shall I open one, Hannah? Which one shall I open? 
Is that 73? Oh, they're so nice when you open it. Right, I'm going to open it. They're, gonna all, open um, it. they're all tied up with a beautiful ribbon. No, that's why like I've got Christmas. one to say. And also they've cut the fabric. They haven't cut the pieces for you. No. But they've cut the fabrics to length for you, haven't they? There we go. There we go. So when you get home, this is what's going to happen. This will be delivered to you. And then inside the box, it's like this. Nice sturdy box of storage. Look, look. So there's your instructions. This is, I've opened the floral one. So this is the same as the one you've got there with all yes. your fabrics and you've got to display your own backing and your own uh, wadding and everything. But then again, as Catherine was just showing you, all the different things there, layout pattern and everything coming up later. But look, isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautifully wrapped up. So you get the tissue paper. Okay, so this says finish size 40 inches by 60 inches. Is that what you said yours was? More or less. Yeah. That, that one's a couple of inches smaller. But okay. Yeah. Well, I, I suspect, you see, machine. when it's all backed and yeah. everything. Yeah, and it depends what sewing machine you made it on and everything Absolutely. like that, doesn't it? Right, so let me just open the tissue paper here. Look. Look how lovely. So, look at this, right? Look at this. It's, is it, is, uh, which floral one? No, there's the floral one. Is that, is that the one? Yes. That's the one. That you get that so in your other one that will be the stripe it's not a very big piece but you know what i mean so it's not going to make a, da a devastating difference to you oh quilt, not at all no no so you get all of your pieces here so in, in both of them all of these pieces are identical you get all of these fabrics and it tells you in the in the pamphlet how much you get of each one Aren't they just beautiful? And do you know what, John? There's absolutely loads left over. Oh, is there? There's loads. Even so you, so, you know, even when you've done all your cutting, you've got spare. So if one of your fabrics is you like more than another, you can swap in squares of those if you want oh, to. Oh, of course, yeah. yes. And then if you I make love, a mistake, which does happen. I love you know, this fabric. That's Yeah, that's your mode of grunge. Yes. So that's your sort of... Little base one that comes in, in the pattern. Beautiful. So obviously they've put this one to one side for the binding as well as that. I think that one's the binding as well as that squares it within is. the in It the is. It tells you how much to cut for your binding as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So that's the one we're going to be demonstrating with. And as I say, this is the fabric that you get in the floral one. In the stripey one, the other code, this is that striped. It's still got flowers on, but it's the striped fabric rather than the floral. Beautiful. Oh, right, okay, so so Hannah has found lots and lots of quilt designs for the French general fabric, but can't find this design anywhere else. If you can, let us know. Oh, you've done it and got it from somewhere else, let us know. But uh, it might, it might be, no, I'm not saying it's exclusive to us, but you know what I mean? If it, it might be difficult to find, it might be your only chance that you see it if you scan the internet for different patterns to make from the French general. And it does look totally and utterly exquisite. Right, I'll right. let you get on. Sorry okay, to interrupt. Okay. No, not at all. Um, okay, so all our cutting we are doing across the width of the fabric. Uh huh. So you're you get it's not fat quarters. You've got width of fabric pieces. So don't get confused and cut down parallel to your salvage. Go across right. your width of fabric. It does it does say that, but it's still very easy to get confused. <laughs> I'm often confused. Oh. <laughs> I can't imagine you'd be, I thought you'd be <laughs> on top of it all, all the time. Well, yeah, sometimes I have a bit too much going on, John. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes sometimes I does. overload myself a little. Yeah. Well, this place and, because <laughs> your craft centre will be open now, yeah, won't it? Yeah, yeah. And children. Amateur, yeah, so you know. Um, okay, so when you're cutting, always remember your rotary cutter away from you. Uh-huh. So you're nice and safe. I opened a brand new rotary cutter to cut this. Oh my word, it does make a difference. <laughs> Change your blade on your rotary cutter if you're starting a new project, I'd say. Yeah. Um, right, so my first strip is a four and a half inch strip. One, two, three, four. I always have to count like that, just to double check, no, check I'm doing fine. it right. Susie okay. Duncan loves this quilt and these fabrics. Oh, it is lovely. And then we've got two and a half inch strips. So if you cut all your strips out of the colours that you want. So for this colour, particular colour, it tells me I need one four and a half inch by width of fabric strip and two two and a half by width of fabric strip. So if I do that, if you do that all at once, you're not moving your fabric around too much because every time you pick it up and replace it somewhere, you can get it out of line and you might not be so accurate. And 
you know with patchwork, it's always a little bit about trying to be nice and accurate, isn't yeah. it? Okay. I knew I hadn't gone quite through that. Let's just get that one. Line it back up and get it. There we go. I'll only do one strip because yeah, yeah. I actually don't need the other one right now. But I would suggest that you get all your cutting done and all in one go. Right. And then you'll know you've got the right quantities. Of course, yeah. You're going to subcut your strip, your large one, into four and a half inch squares. And your small one gets subcut into rectangles that are two and a half inch by four and a half inch. So because they're both going to be the same, I can actually stack them up uh -huh. and do it all at once. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this nifty little one. Oh, we've got that. Yeah, because I, I found this quite useful for cutting the strips. Yeah. Um, because, because it's got the... Um, measurements done in halves you, you can see you again i didn't have to keep moving my strip my strip along on the board of course so yes. i'm just cutting the salvage off There's so four and a half one two three four one two three four and a half and i can just make sure using those lines that i have got everything really square and parallel Okay, like so. We'll put them in separate parts. Uh -huh. there. Okay, that I won't go along the whole thing. No, no. You know, it's just to give you an idea. So you're going to have a lovely stack of four and a half inch squares, lovely stack of rectangles that are two and a half inch by four and a half inch. Out of the first two fabrics, you cut some. Uh, what are they? Three inch squares, right. these are going to make your half square triangles, so they are all the same. Right. And then we have a whole little raft of two and a half inch squares, and these are going to make up the little sort of windmill, pin, windmill oh, yes, sections. Yes, 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 yes. So that is everything you need. So I'm going to show mm -hmm. you how to make up the, the central pin wheel and your windmills. We're going to see if we can make one of these blocks, because actually it's made up of two Four, six, just six big blocks. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see it now you've said that. Yeah. So that's a, that's a block that you've got that on the table there. That is one block there, so it's quite oh, big, isn't wow. it? Oh, wow, yes. Okay, so for, her, for our half square triangles, we're putting one of the, the grunge and yeah. one of the sort of beigey diamonds together, right sides together. Now this is where our other little little gadget ruler, ruler that comes you all into love. play. I do like these for half square triangles. Now I have to tell you, when Yolanda was not happy that she hadn't got these in her hour, was she? Because she went to do half square triangles. I said, oh, if you watch Catherine later, she's got a special. <laughs> <which was> like, <laughs> they sent they sent me them, not her. Yeah. Oh, that's not fair, is it? Because we could all we could all exactly. Share. But look, this is all it is. This is very but very simple. Very I've got the handy. shorter one. I've got them in two sizes, but I've got the short one because you're doing small, small yeah. squares. Yeah, I would there. recommend getting one of each though, because very occasionally you do big half square ones. If you only got a little one, it doesn't quite yeah, get exactly. to the end. So <laughs> this is the nine inch one. It's not a question mark. It is nine inches. If you look at the graphics, right. You'll see how it's used now, because you're going to look at that and go, oh, what have I bought this for? Right? I've got a 15 <laughs> inch as well. Let's see if it says 15 question mark on this one. It does. It does. <laughs> and it's a funny old picture. Elliot will hate that picture because he hates it when it's just a stripe on a, on a page. Oh, that's a further away stripe. We're going to show you, <laughs> Catherine's going to show you how, you how you use them now. You decide whether you want the nine, whether you want the 15 or whether you want them both. You're using the nine inch. I'm using the nine because right. it's only a little half square yeah. triangle. So get them lined up like that. Now, if you think normally, an old fashioned way of doing a half square triangle, you draw your line down the center, yeah. diagonal to diagonal, and then you have to stitch a quarter of an inch either side, which relies on you being lovely and accurate with your quarter of an inches. However, this little ruler takes all the effort out of it because you're going to use that point of your ruler to line up with your point of your squares and make sure the center is going through the center out to the other point so you're all lined up and then you can draw down either side and they are your sewing lines so you haven't got to sew a quarter of an inch you can literally sew down the line 
on each side. Okay. Simple and what you can that. also do is if you're not ha if you're not sure about cutting, because there's a groove in the middle, isn't there? there you is could almost do your cutting line as well, couldn't you? You could actually. If you wanted to. You could look, do it like this. Yeah. Will my pen go will through? Your pen or pen fill? I might need a pencil for that. I don't think oh, my pen worry, will go right worry, through. But worry. yes, you there's could. A, there's a groove absolutely. in the middle as well if you need to do that. Yes. And sometimes, I can't remember which one it is, but sometimes you have to do a line in the middle and then sew on the line. Not for half square triangles, but there's another no, one. No, that's there. for... Something else. I can't think what that one's for. But anyway, but you sometimes do. you need to draw a line right down the century triangle and you can use yes, that for that absolutely. as well by, by doing the corner like you just did and then you know you're dead in the centre of your square. Now, Wendy said to me she didn't like half square triangles, but I love half square oh, triangles. Oh, do you? Well, they're so versatile because you start with a square, a couple of squares and suddenly you can get like endless patterns, yeah. can't mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. So I really like them. Now, if you're fairly new to it all, I'd recommend you pop a pin in. Mm-hmm just to hold your squares in place um, and we're so we're just going to stitch down I can not quite lined up with my line let's get it right before we before we start give myself a fighting chance mm -hmm. I think that's the good thing about these machines where you can pop your needle down because you can check you're going in the right exactly, place can't you and if you're not like you, you can uh, adjust it that's better Because you've got that line to follow, you're not going to drift. Sometimes when people are doing it the, the sort of original way and you're doing that quarter thing, it's really easy to drift mm. off and not, not be a quarter of an inch all the way down. So definitely, if you've not had a go at them before, this is a, this is a good quilt because there's not actually hundreds and hundreds to do. No. <laughs> Okay, and I always think it's not a bad idea sometimes just to check it's looking okay before you cut it. Although you do get a lot, you do get lots spare. So if you have gone wrong, yeah, then that's okay. And right. also, it doesn't matter about the direction of this because you've got fabrics going in every single direction of this quilt, haven't you? So it you is. Don't have it's to worry it's about direction. Or not anything at like all. That. No, I think I think with half square triangles and things like pinwheels, you would go crazy if you try and work out yeah. the direction. Yeah. I think you have to not mind about it too yeah. much. Right, and then we'll press them open. There we go. Margaret loves this quilt. It's beautiful, isn't it, Margaret? It really is. Okay, so for our pin wheel, okay. we'll start to put it out. We're going to make two more though. Right, yeah. There is a nice little layout just so that you get it going the right way. Not that way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Like that, more like that. We'll start to lay it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to mark up and sew two more. So now if you were at home, Yes. Would you work out how many of these you'd need and then draw, put all of them together and then draw I them? I would. Yeah. I would. I'd have a little half square triangle session. Yeah. Um, does it tell us how many? I think it does tell us how many we're going to make. Well, you make six pinwheel blocks. Right. And there are six half square triangles in each pinwheel block. Four. Four half square triangle blocks. Aren't sorry, they? no, sorry. There's four half square triangles in each block, and, and there's six. Six of them. Six of them. So they're the centre of yes. your block, aren't they? And they yes. just appear once in the block. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's no good asking me to do maths, you know. <laughs> I'm only good at arithmetic because my first job was I worked on Sheldon's fruit and veg stall in Chester Market. Before you had computerised hills, so, so you, you had, had to, to add it up. Way and add up as you were going oh, along. Very good. I know. I did do bar work when I left school, and I was quite good at adding up then. Yeah. Oh yeah. You but would that be, was a yeah. long time ago. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, saying what do I know? What's the matter? No, it, the life wasn't black and white. Only photographs. She said, <laughs> "I don't could tell the difference between a green <laughs> apple and a red apple when life was in black and white." 
<laughs> you wait till you're old. <laughs> Hannah McCabe and all your hundreds of grandchildren are running around going, Granny, what was it like in 2021? Do you know what? My kids can't believe things like there were only four television channels. <laughs> 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 you know, when I was little. And, and like the phone was set in one place. Yes, yeah, in the hall on a <laughs> on phone a cord, table. Yeah. Yeah, on and a you cord. had to dial and it took ages. Yeah, and when we first got our first phone, there was a party line. So sometimes you could pick the phone up and the other people would be chatting on your line. <laughs> you could listen in. I didn't, of course. <laughs> Now, this isn't mobile phones. We're talking about trim phones at home. You're very posh. You don't have a card, don't green trim phone. Okay, I've got a sewing question here from Sue. Okay. Out of interest, if you accidentally stretch the block when pressing it, what should the finished half square triangle block size be, please? Ooh. We'll have a look for you. Let's have a look. Um. <clears throat> Two and a half inches square and the whole pinwheel block should be four and a half inches square. There we go. That was for Sue. And Margaret, Margaret says, my dad always used to ask us, do you get red cabbage from a green grocer's? Well, do you? <laughs> oh, that's such a dad joke, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay, right, I need to tell you something. I know this is going to sound quite a lot, but in, in the terms of how much we sell at the moment, it's not. The floral one, there are 14 left, that's all. And the stripy one, there are eight left, that is all. That's it, that's it. When they're gone, they're gone. So, oh, seven stripy ones now, someone's just checked out. Seven stripy ones now. They're very similar, it's just whether you want the stripe or you want the floral, that's all. I don't think it really matters. No, I don't think because I've even done. Know. I've been sent both boxes now, and I liked them both. Yeah. Okay. Well, Alice Marion's come in now. What's she saying? Our first phone was a party line where you had to wait if someone else. Yeah, that's what I said. Someone else is on there. You'd have to wait for them to finish before you could dial a number. Right. So, have you got any tricks about sewing those together? I am going. I'm going to just trim them off nicely and trim those corners off because that's going to make it a little bit easier. Right. Then we shall sew them into pairs mm -hmm. and then we will sew them across. The Perfect. Bit. I seem to have got a lot of clutter on my table. So at this point, if you're worried that you might have stretched it or something like that, you can check. You can check you've got yourself right at your two and a half inches. Yeah, that yeah. little ruler is perfect for that. This little ruler is great because you've, you've got a really nice um, diagonal line to line up with your diagonal of your half square mm -hmm. triangle you see and then you can just get those edges off so you can be very precise I am going to trim a slight bit on that one I think just to get that it's a little bit does it tell you to trim them? I'm just wondering. What's what? I'm just wondering if it does tell you to trim. Yes, it does. Yeah. I'm seeing mine are slightly over. So I am just going to trim them down. So also, if you've got your rota rotating cutting mat, even better. Oh, yeah, totally. I'd forgotten we needed to um, trim on this, else I'd have got it out. But you can see how the ruler will line up really nicely and then you can get, you, get yourself a very nice, accurate mm -hmm. half square triangle. But don't think, oh, I've got to do hundreds of these because you haven't. Right, yeah, there's, only one, well, there's only one of those blocks. Six, there's six in the whole quilt, aren't there? Absolutely. Turn that so I've got my diagonal. Sometimes you, it does your head in, doesn't it? Because it's yeah. like, which way am I turning it? Here we go. But no. then the, the ones that make the, uh, like the Irish chain almost going through it, are like pennants, aren't they? They're kind of, yes. they're not, they don't look like half square triangles. They're not, they're slightly different. Oh, okay. So when I put this one together, yeah. I'll show oh, you no how rush. to do I'm that I'm not one. rushing you, I'm just sitting and looking at the quilt. <laughs> yeah, they are, they oh, are slightly, different, slightly yeah. different. Um, which is quite nice because, you know, 
sometimes I think if you're doing the same thing over and over, sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive, yeah, yeah. can't it? Also, it's important to trim, isn't it, at this point, because each one you're only shaving the tiniest amount off. Yeah, there's not a huge amount to cut off, it has to be said. But then if you think you've but got... But it will make a difference. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those squares, finished squares going across, if each of those have an eighth of an inch on, you've added an inch onto that row, haven't you? Absolutely. I haven't done that one brilliantly. I've, I'm oh. not quite, well, I'm not quite up to the point... So it may not go together as beautifully as it should. But the thing is, you can see that as you're going along. And because there is all this extra spare fabric, you can always have another go. Yeah, exactly. It's not the end exactly. of the world. It's not like, oh, I've only got this X to use and I can't make any mistakes. You have got room to make mistakes on this. Mm -hmm. So I think, that, I think that's why it's so good. We all make... Everyone, everyone makes mistakes. That one's slightly oh. skewy. Okay. So it's again, Hannah. Oh, the little square, yeah, the little square ruler's in the right-hand box there, yeah. So, just keep your eye on your pattern so that you're getting them in the right place. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pop them together and put them together in pairs. And again, it's a quarter-inch seam. Now it's a quarter-inch seam. We've not got a line to follow. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes. I haven't got a quarter inch foot on this machine because I couldn't find it to put on. But oh, if you've is it not in the little top, the little top thing? Well, it might have been, but then I think I had to adjust the needle and I wasn't sure what zero I was doing. Zero six. I wasn't sure I've what got, I was doing. I've got doing. only because I know because I've got that machine. <laughs> so you just tip it to zero six and gives you a quarter So inch. when you put it together, yeah. yeah, you are supposed to have this here. Oh, let's have a look. Can oh, you see? Yeah. So your triangles have gone together and that's nice. They're in a nice point, but there's extra. But that's correct because you're going to put it together with the other one. Right, and then that should seem And that allowance. should be quarter inch, yeah, hopefully. Uh-huh. So don't look at it and think, oh no, my points have gone in the wrong place. It's like that when you make a flying geese, isn't it? You always think at the yeah. top, oh, that's not lying properly. But then of course it's because you've got to take that quarter inch off to get to hit the point Absolutely. Exactly. What are you sewing on your sewing machine then, John? It's actually under the bed at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I say to people when they get a new machine, you've got to find a place to put it. Under so you leave it out yeah. and then you'll use it. Do you know what, Elliot? Oh, no, not my bed that I sleep on. Oh, how do you know how high my bed is, Elliot? <laughs> you just said to me, wouldn't you put it on its side? It's in the Indian princess bedroom and that's a really big Edwardian four-poster bed from Ooh. India. And so it's really, really high. So it's got, you could fit, I could almost fit these tables underneath it, Elliot. So when I've pressed it, I've pressed one one way, one seam one way, and one uh -huh. seam the other way, so that when we put them together, they'll nest together. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to put right sides together and make sure that central um, seam, hopefully you can see that, yeah. is going to line up. I do tend to put a little pin in, just to keep it where you want it to mm. be. Because you don't want it to shift out of place, do you? Uh, again, sewing it with a quarter inch seam. Ta -da. There we go, very good. Very, even though, good. so even, even though, though I say so myself, myself. <laughs> well, you never know, do you? No, <laughs> it no. isn't always. <laughs> so those points have come nicely, but it's because, and it shows it's worth doing. It's worth taking your time to get that yes. cutting accurate, so that then it does go together nicely. Do you know what I love as well is just doing the the um, 
doing the two half square triangles together. Go back to the block, the block over here. I like the way on the, on the beige fabric, you've got the leaves going that north, east, south and west on them. So it kind of gives it the movement of it a does. kind of windmill, doesn't it? It does. OK, so you're going to make six, six like that. Yeah. That's not too onerous, is it? Then we're going to make, well, I'm wondering what they call them. A windmill block. I knew they gave it a name. So you've got a whole stack of these rectangles that are two and a half by four and a half. Right. And you've got your small red squares, right. which are two and a half inch square. And you're basically going to make the windmill blocks out of these. And it says to do it completely randomly. How are you with random? Oh, I'm very good at random. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but they've all got they've all got a red block. You red can work all in, the way they? through. Yes. Um, they've all got a red block on. So, yeah. and you make them all in the same direction. Right. So you take a, a big rectangle and you put your small square on top, and you are going to draw a diagonal line. And this time it is from corner to corner. Oh, there you go. Is your pen, is your pen going to be thin enough? I'd are you using the side? Using the side, Jeff? Yes. Okay. The thing is, we're going to put, to make this, these windmills, blocks, yeah. you're going to put two of each together. So this is why they've got to be random. Oh, okay. You, you don't want to think too hard about what you're pairing up with what you're pairing up. But so, you don't want two the same? No. Right. So when I made, when I did this before and I made almost the whole quilt, Yeah. Um, at home, I'd stitched through, I basically had my piles, I stitched everything, and then I randomly picked them up to then put them into yeah. their, into their blocks. Don't think, I think with random, you have to not plan it too much, no. not think too hard about all you it. Don't, all you've got to do though is make sure at the end you haven't got two the same. You have. There's always a slight danger that you like one more than another, oh, and that's yes. the one you pick up the most. Yeah. You think, oh, I like that one, I'll use that one. Okay, so with this time, I want to just check I tell you right, yeah. <laughs> because it's opposite. So, yes, we're stitching on the line with this right. one. Okay. So if you get a load prepped and you're pretty nifty, you can chain piece lots of these yeah. quite quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it looks like there's quite so a few So you can of those. just, yeah, so you can get a whole stack done and then, you know, when you've got to there, put, feed the next one mm -hmm. in, feed, whatever, and then chop them up at the end. Perfect. Um, but they, they all need to go in the same direction. So you can see that's going to do that. So we're going to trim it off with a quarter inch seam. All right. Please make sure you trim it from the right side, the correct side of the line. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it's this little corner we're getting rid of. Yeah. Yeah, not down here. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is useful. It's got your quarter inches marked on as well. Mm -hmm. Little ruler in the square on the right hand side there. Six and a half. I want to say six and a half by six now. Yeah, yeah, it six is. and a half by six it and a half. Isn't it weird, right? So we do, they're all in inches, but the graphics are in centimetres, but the whole ruler's in inches. That's, yeah. yeah. But but really patchwork, patchwork's mostly inches. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, yeah, which is fine, but then it's odd that it doesn't say six and a half by six and a half in the graphic. It says 16.5 centimetres. Okay. So I'm going to press that open. There's no particular way to make seams go on this one. But they're all identical. They're you all identical. Think, oh, they, they, no, the they all the need to go. That red corner all needs to go in the right hand corner. Okay. Because then what happens is when you put it together, it just rotates like that. Oh, okay. But as you can see, it doesn't look like a half square triangle, does it? Because it looks more like a, when you look at the quilt, they look like little pennants. Yeah, they're not a half square no, triangle. No no, no, no. So they're going like that. Nothing to match on this one either. Brilliant. Yeah, we like not matching. Mm -hmm. it's, Pop them together with a quarter inch. And let's press that open. So 
you can see how it makes that little crisscrossy block. Yeah. So it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so each block's got two, four, six, eight of those. Right. To create that sort of moving effect. Yeah, it's like the Irish chain, isn't it, going across them to make the big squares in there. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to make up a couple more and then I'm going to lay out a block so you can see how it lays out okay, for brilliant. you. What, Shall you, I go through? Do you, so uh, do you want just, to while I put together yeah, yeah, a Yeah, yeah, while you're doing that, I'll just go through the bundles again. So this, both bundles have got single figures now. Both kits have got single figures, right? This one here I've got is the floral version, which is... 70, is it this one here? Yeah, 73, 73. And when I say, if you just tuned in, the floral version is in both boxes, you get this, 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 all these beautiful fabrics, you get this, you do get that stripy one, you get that lovely one there, and you get the grunge one. But in this box, if you go OQUV73, you get this fabric, right? And that's 99 pounds and 99 pence, two payments of 49.99. Uh, and they're down to single figures, single figures on this one, on both of them, but on this one as well, right? So that's that one, OQUV73. If you go for the other one, you get all of these fabrics. I'm just gonna steal the block from Catherine's desk. Right, so if you go th this one, which is C-O-U-V-80, you get all the same fabric, so you get this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, that beautiful one there. They're all French general, um, beautiful, aren't they? There they are. Char Chafakani and French general for Moda. But in this one, instead of that floral, you get this fabric here let me just show you I just want to show you, yeah so you get that fab that one there that one there so instead of this oh yeah there it is but instead of this you get that right that's the only difference in the both the quilts right it was just so we could bring so that Mojo could make more for you as it were or more could be made for you so in this one you don't get this fabric at all you get that stripy one and there's the block that Catherine's just making now, that really lovely block. So you've made that one. That's the centre of your big block. Then you make all those ones that Catherine was just saying. And then look, as she says, all the others are just squares. Doesn't look like that. It looks so much more complicated, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, don't nick your block there. Yeah. Right, so I'll put that one back in there. Um, both in single figures. Both in single figures, so please be careful. Right, are, are, are you still sewing? I, I am. Okay, I am. Um, if you what want I'm going to go do through your things, is your we've backing. got some fabrics because obviously the kit doesn't have backing. So I've got backing fabrics, bundles that we put together. Now, you don't have to buy, you might just see a bundle of this and think, oh, I love that, I'll buy that for my stash. It's not necessarily just for this quilt here. These are not extra wide backings, obviously. These are just our 44 inch wide fabric backings, so you will have to piece them. So I've got crimson first. How much is in a bundle, sorry? Three and a half meters, ignore the... Yeah, come in tight because I haven't got enough room in my desk. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So you get three and a half meters and for some reason they've taken £1.50 off that one. So 22.49, you can get three and a half meters. Now they've called it a backing bundle. It is the Rose and Hubble are quilting cotton. So you might want to make other projects out of this. Doesn't have to be the backing. It's just that we've put it together as a backing for this quilt. You will need to seam it, obviously. Oh, actually, if you've got some fabric left over from the front, what I would do is two, two big bits of this and then a stripe of like squares of all your other fabrics from, the, wouldn't you? Be nice, wouldn't it? Rather than just having Very a seam nice. down the middle, you could do something on the back or just make a few of the pinwheels and have them dotted around maybe. Anyway, so that's the crimson. Crimson's, oh sorry, crimson's that one. Beige. Don't know why I say it like that. I hate that word though. <laughs> beige. It's not a nice word. Lovely colour, but I don't like, I don't like the name beige. I hate, I hate greige even more. Yeah. Oh, you say, oh, are we saying £1.50 on all of them then? That's nice. Well, we'll see, won't we? You get to say £1.50 on that one. 
It's uh, Elliot's middle name, apparently. What, Grage? Grage, yeah. Right, oh, now I've got, uh, is it cream? Oh, yeah, cream. £1.50 saving. Beautiful bundle, this one. Oh, you know, if you're making a quilt and you just want a backing, three and a half metres of cream fabric stash is just a must-have, isn't it, really? Okay. Then I've also got... I don't know what colour to call this one. Rose. Oh, that's a dark rose, isn't it? That would be a, a contrast if you got that one. You've got pink round the outside. You've got a pink uh, border, or a pink uh, binding on it. 22 49 saving £1.50. Now, this next one, I personally... Now, I'm not being negative. I'm not being negative. I'm just putting my point of view. I think this red is too bright for this quilt. To my opinion... I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it because it's a lovely bundle. So really, because you're saving £1.50. But I'm just thinking it might be a little bit too bright. Let me just have a look. You see what I mean? It might just be a tiny bit too bright for that one. You might love it. You might love it. I mean, I'm always wrong, so I could be wrong now. But £1.50 saving on that one, you get a Scarlet. £22.49 for your three and a half metres. Right, so let's go back and see what Catherine's up to. So I've put together a couple more of my little windmills yeah. and I'm just starting to lay the block out. Now there is a complete layout. Um, it's not that easy to see the different fabrics, right. but you can follow it but surely, if you want to, but it actually doesn't really matter. No, as long as you get the pinwheel in the middle pinwheel and then the you middle, get your little... You want to get these the right direction yeah. so that they do look like they're coming through. Yeah, one up, one down, one up, one down. That's right. But you can see that very clearly on, on this, oh, on yes, this yes, layout. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and then the squares in between, you can follow that if you want to, but I think it's quite nice to lay it out yourself and choose what you like, because it depends a little bit what you've well, done yes, with these. Yes, exactly, because they haven't told you what to say. They've said those no, are random. Absolutely. So they can't then tell you, oh, you've got to put this one next to this, because it's not going to be the same as the one they've done, no. is it? No, also, I quite like the fact the beige one, oh, and the red one near you there, have got st distinct stripes on them. I quite like to have some with the stripes going across and, and some with the some stripes going way. up. Yes. Yes. Well, once you've got them all placed and everything, so you could then decide so I, what you I like mean, best. Yeah, I mean, the way I'd approach it is to lay, when you've got your things done, lay out a block and think, oh, yeah, am I happy with this one? Do I like the order I've got it in? If not, have a little play about and get it how you want. Yeah. Is the way. But and you can see that it is mainly squares. squares. Yeah. And at this stage, you know, the, you've made these into squares, so it's very easy to piece them all together. Yeah. Also be aware that you're going to bind it in the pink. So you might want yes. to think about, do I want too many pink ones on the outside of my square? Because would you true. want pink against... They've got it in theirs. They've got pink against pink on you theirs. You have, and it, it looks yeah, okay, it but looks you wouldn't fine, want too many. You don't you want, want too many, yes. You want a mixture, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It works because there's a real mixture. I mean, even here, they've actually got a windmill colour next to a square, but it doesn't stand out no, to you. No, not at all. You can get away with yeah. that, can't you? You know, and, and there you have. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, because it then creates a completely different shape then, doesn't it? It it's does. It's like an L, back to front L on that one then. But I think the fabrics tone so nicely together yeah. that it if you get the odd bit to, next to each other it's not going oh, to no, be a no. you know a big problem it's not going to spoil your quilt uh, and, and I mean it says in in the instructions if you've got a fabric you like more and you want to swap out pieces and say I, I really like this one okay I might cut a few more of those yeah. and a few more of that flowery one well by this point you'll those. know what you what you've used and what you haven't used so you'll have a pile over there of all your leftovers it's absolutely. not like you're going to cut out and then go oh I was meant to make the binding out of that or something no, no absolutely so you've got loads left over and then would you literally once you've laid it out and you're happy with it you're you literally then... going to sew it together row by row, right. just like you do any block, mm -hmm. and then piece your rows together. And then you'd end up with six of those. Six of those that you then put together row by row. Oh, and again, what you're going to need to be aware of is... 
what you've got next to each other in each because block. you're thinking oh this all looks lovely but then if you've then chosen yes. like you more of your favorite one you might end up with two and that might be obvious if you have two dark reds next to each it other might. so yeah. you want a little bit of planning yeah. but I, I quite like the whole laying it out on the lounge floor and having oh, and a the look whole family at it love that as well, yeah don't they? and the dog gets in there oh, and it over those. what you want to do is take a photograph because it looks if you take a photograph and then you look at it like on your phone yeah. it looks different and if you have got something that isn't quite right, you'll see it on the photo. It kind of jars your eye, yes. where you don't always see it when you've been looking yeah. at it for ages and ages. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Also take a photo so that when you pick them up, start sewing, you don't Oh yeah, you might up. wonder where you, and also you might not sew it on the night that you lay it all out or the exactly. day you lay it all out. You may then, you know, you've got it laid out, you want to stack it up. I always do it like this in little rows. Okay, we so you know that that's row one. And then that's I'll write the a little label and I'll put row one. And you, it works though. It works. It works. Yeah, and then you exactly. do that and you do row two. Um, when the ladies come and do it at, at the craft centre, we do this and we all have little plastic bags for each row. Oh. But we don't. But it doesn't get mixed up then, you see. No. And, no, it, exactly. and it works. Because exactly. there's nothing worse than having got to the point where you. You do it together and you go, no, no, something's not right here. Yeah. And you've got to lay it all out again. Wow. There's nothing worse. Perfect. When are you back in next? I'm back in Sewing Street on the 18th of June, but I'm back for Yarn Lane on the 14th of June. Oh. There's all sorts going on. It's, uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, John. It's been lovely to see you and we'll see you again very soon. Right. Uh, now, I need to warn you about my numbers that we've got for these blocks and I'll tell you about the rulers as well. Floral, which is this one here, six, six of these left once you've all checked out. Then that's the one that has this floral fabric in it. Oh my God, yeah, I picked the right one up. Yeah, the floral fabric in it. £99.99, £99, two split payments of £49.99. We just split the payment in half. There is no interest charge whatsoever. If you've already bought something today, you don't have to pay P&P. &P, but if it's the only thing you've bought today, on your first payment of £49.99, your £3.95 postal packaging will be taken at the same time. That's that one. Now, the one that's exactly the same, but instead of the flowers, you've got the stripes, the broad stripes. How many of those have we got left? Five of those when you all checked out. We won't be ordering them again. They won't be coming in again. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll get it next time. It's been on before. I'll get it next time. You, no. No, it won't be coming in again. We won't be getting this one again. Hmm? It's all. We've got them all. Oh, beautiful. All perfectly wrapped and everything. It's lovely, isn't it? £99.99 £99 again, £49.99 twice. If you, now, oh, can I just say as well, you don't have to pay, take split pay if you don't want to. That's a choice. When you come to check out, on that side of the screen, there'll be a little thing going, there's a box going, do you want to take split pay? And you tick on that. You don't have to take it if you don't want to. It's not obligatory for you to take the split pay. So that's that one. That's that one there. Now, the rulers that we've just used. Oh, the half square triangle rulers. I've got in two different sizes. Very quickly, because we've got to run down to Yarn Lane. In a minute. Nine inch one first. About to sell out. Today's allocate, or today's allocate is about to sell out. Fourteen ninety nine for the small one. Right, that's the small one. Fourteen ninety nine. Or do you want the fifteen incher? Look, there it is. I'll get the screen. Fifteen ninety nine. Okay. Lovely. And the little square ruler very quickly. Little ruler, six and a half by six and a half inches. Fabulous. Right, we're going to Yarn Lane now. So I need to do the Sewing Street menu for tomorrow. I'm not in tomorrow, it's Vix tomorrow. Vix is back tomorrow for one of her get in touch days, whatever they're called. Menu for tomorrow. Here you go. She's doing Ocean Fabric at eight o'clock. Um, and then we've got Alison Marion's a Beach Quilt. It's World Ocean Day tomorrow, if you're wondering why. If you're wondering why that's like that. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got Vix Picks. Poor old girl, she's been on maternity leave. She had to do her own picks for an hour. Then we've got Alison Marion's Beach Bag at 11 o'clock. 
And then at 12 o'clock, the Juki DX7 and Dressmaking Fabrics. That's all with VIX tomorrow. However, do not go anywhere. If you've never been to Yarn Lane, come with me now. If you aren't watching the telly, uh, you can stay where you are. If you're watching on YouTube, the website, or Facebook Live, you need to swap to the Yarn Lane version of that. If you've already bought something from me this morning, then your PMP is covered for uh, Yarn Lane as well. So same, different company, but same warehouse. So, so your PMP is covered. Um, however, the products from this show don't appear on the Yarn Lane website, and the Yarn Lane website products don't appear on this website. However, everything from Yarn Lane is on pre order because it's Wendy Orlando's block of the month, knitting and crochet. Now, I can't tell you how many, she sold out. Last time she was in doing this, we sold out. We've brought some of last month's more, we got more of last month's, plus we've got this month's. It's all available now on pre-order. So please join me at Yarn Lane on the other side of this break with Wendy Orlando to do block. All right, all right, she's pulling faces at me now. Go running. You've got to run. You're quite old to get to the studio. There she goes. Right, we'll see you in four from now.